It's time for the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show, powered by Mercury Marine. To me, there's nothing better than spend all of my time out on the water. With waterman Eric Brandon. Because that's where I get my kicks out on the water. And extreme angler Joe Hector. Hey, it's my residence. Call your resident fishing experts, Eric and Joe, at 866-801-0940 and get hooked up. You know what we be spending our weekend. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. Don't want to waste my time or a single dime on something high and dry. Out on the water. Want to see the show live? Go to the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. As always, we say, hey, happy Saturday morning. Welcome to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. My good friend, Joe, I've been hacked, hacked her over there in the right chair. Hello, Joey. Hello. Good morning, Hi. brother. How's it going? Going to be a great show, man. We have a uh, never theme these shows normally, but uh, this is pretty topical lately. We talked to captains over the last couple of weeks. Right. But I think these tuna fish have been. Yeah, it's been good. It's been really good. Yeah, really good. You happen yeah. to see what's the best tuna chicken of the sea. <laughs> How's those things get in the can, man? Somebody's catching those tuna fish, right? <laughs> yeah. And now, those, I think, are like bonita or something, aren't they? I, like a type of Atlantic some bonito kind or of something? A knockoff non tuna yeah. species they're filling those cans with, man, I'm not sure. But speaking of being on the can, uh, hi to Stephen J. Gray. Oh. On the can? Come on, man. <laughs> hi, Stephen. <laughs> Back Good to morning, studio. gentlemen. Eric, thank you, bro, for what you do every morning. So, a great show coming up with all of our captains talking about their catches. And there's various ways to catch tuna fish. Joe, you know, you've done the yak thing and boat oh, thing. Yeah. You got yeah. a lot of tuna over your your lifetime. Boats, kayaks, everything. I mean, tuna w- when they're here yeah. and it's that season, which yeah. I think it's right now and and beyond. Yeah, uh, it's it's so much fun in South Florida catching jumbo blackfin tuna with jigs, with live bait, and they're great eating. They're just fun. If you were around. to rank blackfin tuna amongst the three pelagics we like, mahi. Tuna or Wahoo? Where would the tuna fish rank with you, my friend? I would say number two. Number two. I'd have Wahoo one, yeah. Mahi, or a Wahoo one, okay. tuna second. And you've actually got a Wahoo tat, so we know what the hell you yes. are. Oh, jeez. Yes. Hey, by the way, uh, you heard that first uh, tuna jingle. That was a newer one, kind of a Joe type of jingle. This is a uh, Eric tuna jingle uh, with magic style uh, oh, capabilities. Here we go. Oh. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yes. All uh, right. Here he goes. And three, two, one. one. Helps if I turn it up. It's from the forties. <laughs> Chicken. Of that the was for Eric. Actually, it's sad about the fact that I remember that jingle. That's how. I knew wow. you would. Man, I knew you would. Are. That was the classic jingle, yeah. by the way. That was. All right. Let's get right to business, man. Jimbo Thomas and Thomas Flores holding on. He's got a whole load of tuna stories. Let's do it. Let's do I'm it, ready. Man. Jimbo. Jimbo. Man, Good morning, what's up? guys. Morning, morning. Jimbo, we're talking tuna fish today, my friend. What are your favorite uh, sandwiches? Yeah. Mm. Uh, negative. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll eat some in sushi, uh, sushi form, and that's it. Otherwise, uh, you can have that can of tuna. All right, buddy. Put it boy. up your can, maybe. Well, you and I chatted last night briefly. Put it up your can. I like that. Uh, we talked to briefly. You caught a couple of tunas this week, as well as a whole batch of stuff, man. So, how was your week, my friend? Yeah, so fishing is definitely improving, although I think it can be a lot better. We got this full moon we've been dealing with the last couple nights. But as far as the tunas go, it should just get better and better. Uh, May is the peak, I, at least in my opinion, for these tunas. And they showed up a little bit early this year. We were catching them a month ago. So usually it's about the middle of April through the middle of June, with May being the best. Yeah. And most of the tunas that we've been seeing in the last um, week or so, or week and a half, have been uh, roughly 15 to 20 pounders. And it seems like as we get a little later, we start catching 20 to 30 pounders. Although I have heard of some some larger ones caught, we just haven't caught them. Right. Um, And they are a lot of fun, and they are great eating, and they're all... Every one of them sushi great. Nice. You like to eat sushi, mm. I love sushi or man, yeah. if you like to you know cook them, then uh, they're they're just as good there. But uh, we catch a lot of them on the kite, mm-hmm. and we also catch a lot of them on flat lines. And one of my favorite ways to fish for them is to try and catch a well full of live pilchards, okay. and then we live chum them. You get them, you get them up in a frenzy, and then you can cast spinning rods to them or uh, jigs, whatever you want. 
and they definitely are late afternoon feeders. That's when they're going to bite the best, or or low light feeders would be a better uh, description because they got that big eye, which means they, if they're nighttime feeders, they're nocturnal at least. Yep. So yeah. late in the day, like the last hour of sunlight, that's when they are really going to bite if they're going to bite. So, uh, and it's been it's been happening. Uh, you know, last week I think I talked about we went out and I think we caught eighteen of them. Nice. Uh, we fish late into the day, but then we uh, this Thursday. That's I'm going out in my bay boat doing that. This Thursday we did the same thing. Uh, we fished till dark. We only caught two, which yeah, which is great. Still, I've gone out and caught none, of course. So, <laughs> well, we we got spoiled last week. At least yeah. he's honest, man. If he says he hasn't caught a fish, he hasn't caught a fish. He, hey. just, he doesn't BS on the show, man. Jimbo is going to tell he's you real. how it is. All of our captains are real, man. They, yeah. they got some. Yeah, but Jimbo's. He's on another real level. Like he really is. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, he's, it's a Jimbo level. He's like he's on a polygraph machine every time he's a show, man. Yeah. Okay, he ain't lying. Yeah, dude. I, I get I get zapped every time I I talk start talking BS, so I got to keep straight. But uh, you're straight. But man. you know, otherwise, you're straight. there have been uh, some other fish. We've had sales every day this week. Yeah, awesome. Um, they're not they're not thick by any means, but we've had a, at least one sale every day this week. I think Monday we did have two. Uh, there's been a few kings around, but the kings in the last couple of days have seemed to be on the small side. But uh, that can change. At least that's down in the Miami area. Right. And uh, mm-hmm. what else? We had a nice mutton snapper yesterday. That Actually, the mutton snapper came up and ate a flat line that was what? N- uh, not on the surface, but near the surface. Come on. Uh, in 120 feet of water. Yeah, I, uh, I, I really didn't expect that. He was a little hungry, I think. I was not... Yeah, it's not the first time that's happened, but, you know, the bait gets down a little bit, and, you know, but he couldn't have been down that deep. And just before we got that bite, I had seen uh, some baits getting up on the surface, and then we got the bite. I just figured it was a king or something, and then as we fight him a little longer, I'm like, I don't know what the heck we got here, and hmm. came up about a 10-pound mutton snapper, so uh, I'll take that. Weird, man. Wow. He's talking mola and, uh, mola fish else? last weekend. Nice talking about mangroves coming up and that <laughs> flat line. Yeah, yeah, Zimbo's, but the uh, the mutton know? did not skyrocket. Oh, but, uh, like the mola, yeah, okay, <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, and also uh, we had a nice we had a, a keeper cobia yesterday. Oh. There we go. Yeah, Joe. There you that's go, what man. I want to hear. We like cobs, man. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, that that's the first uh, keeper cobia I've had in a while. And uh, looking back around Easter and. And Good Friday, in particular, is almost always we catch a cobia. It seems like we get a little uh, push of cobias right around Easter. They're starting their migration. At the at least the ones we see here are usually traveling to the south. Yeah, I'm guessing they're going back south to go up into the Gulf of Mexico. But uh, yeah, so right now is uh, as good a time as any to catch a cobia as well. You getting them over so those today, deep gonna- wrecks or the sh- or shallower? Um, the one we caught was just kind of out in, mid- in the middle of nowhere on a uh, oh, wow. live bait. Okay, cool. We had a, uh, a cigar minnow down there, mm-hmm. and he ate that. And then, uh, so earlier this week, we, we fish grunts down on the deep line a lot of times, and just about everything will eat a grunt. Uh, Kobe is especially. They love them. But uh, we got a bite on the deep line, and whenever you hook a Kobe down deep, they come straight to the top. Mm-hmm. So we got a, a bite on the deep line, and it starts uh, racing up to the top. And this was on a grunt, mm-hmm. and we just uh, automatically sank uh, cobia, and it comes up and it jumped, and it was a friggin' sailfish. Oh wow! This yeah, guy's got so many surprises on, on the boat, bottom. man. Jimbo, Doesn't it's he? like it's like we're reading a book, God. and like there's all these like surprises that pop up. You think it's one thing. And then he changes gears to another. Yeah. It's it's awesome. On the Thomas Flyer, <laughs> there's always something really whack going on, man. You don't expect. <laughs> We're talking Cobia. You got and much. then you think he's talking yeah. about fighting a Cobia. And then he goes right to a sailfish. <laughs> and you're like, what? <laughs> what? Well, I, so, thought, I thought it was a Cobia. Oh, it was a, great. I mean, I'm not complaining. What's I whack about catching too, a sailfish, by the way? No, no it's, it's, it's the way it's it happened. It's caught him on a cigar minnow, man. It's like unheard of, okay? It's, yeah. Steven, if you ever fished, no, you, you might realize that. Oh, okay. Yeah. You ever got your ass off short fish wow. you realize he, these things are very hey, unusual, uh, okay? Eric, did you bring your fishing rod today? That no. Was... In my truck. Uh, okay. Wow. Jimbo, we got we got a rock, man. You heading out today or what, buddy? 
Yeah, we are. We're going to be out there. It looks like it should be a nice day. We're going to catch our live baits and go fish the edge of the Gulf Stream, see what happens. Jim, nice. well, you are a treat, man. I, I never know what to expect out of your mouth yeah. on your week of fishing with skyrocketing sailfish and muttons on a flat line and... I got to say, though, this is going to be exciting. Fish. Like, this, 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 we're getting into that time of year where yeah. I, I love the uh, dusk fishing, like after, late yeah. afternoon fishing. Yeah. yeah. So it's going to be a lot of fun. For I sure. can't wait for all yeah. these reports coming. It, this is springtime fish is my favorite time of the year. You get such a yeah. great variety of fish. Uh, the weather is typically pretty nice. And that late afternoon with the staying late in the day with the, the time as, as it is, yeah. you know, if you can fish out there dark till dark. And that's when you're going to have some great action on kingfish, sailfish, black tunas, pretty much anything that swims out there. Yeah. Jim, I say 10 out of 10 report, man. Thanks so much, brother, man. You are you are the bomb diggity. Thanks, the bud. man. You got it, guys. Well, good luck, everybody. All right, Joe, first break of the morning coming up. We have uh, Stan hunting for Danny Ramos this hour. Ooh, Stan, Stan the man, the man huh? Sean Rolls has got a photo, by the way, on Facebook of him catching a massive black fin off a yak. Nice. Did you send that to me? I will if you'd like me to. Okay. Hey, that would be nice. Thanks. Was that was that recent? I think he took the boat out. No, this is actually a photo. You can see the yak, Joe. I'm not that blind. I see. He's no, no, yak. no, because he went out yesterday. Yeah, I'm telling you, this goes back a ways. Oh, it I thought really it was yesterday. It doesn't really oh. matter when. I'm just saying he's done it. Oh. And the thing was huge, okay? Okay. Yeah, you're always challenging me oh, about these no, no, things. No, 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 no. Okay, everybody, good morning to you. 6 11 or so at Fox Sports 940. Live! <laughs> When it comes to kayak fishing, Nautical Ventures knows what you need to catch fish. They carry top brands from Hobie, Ocean, Wilderness, Old Town, Perception, Neki, and are experts in rigging your kayak. They'll customize your kayak with fishing amenities, lights, depth finders, and anything else that fits your personal fishing style. Nautical Ventures has the largest and latest selection of kayaks and accessories in stock. And you can try it before you buy it in their exclusive Aqua Zone. Go to nauticalventures.com for more details. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for kayak fishing. Need to get out on the water? Look no further than Sailfish Boats. For nearly four decades, Sailfish Boats have been catching their limit along Florida's southeast coast, providing families and friends the perfect platform to create lasting memories. With head-turning styling, sail tech construction, and incredible on-the-water performance, Sailfish Boats are sure to meet your demanding needs and wants. Each boat features the legendary Deep V Variable Degree Steep Tall, intelligent ergonomics throughout, and a list of standard features for those seeking a boating experience at an undeniable value. Plus, deep gunnels, comfortable seating, roomy heads, plenty of storage, plus an abundant number of cup holders only steps away from another make Sailfish Boats a must-see. Fishing-focused and family-friendly, Sailfish Boats are versatile. Enjoy hardcore fishing in the morning, afternoon activities with family or friends, or entertain with the Sunset Cruise, all with one boat. So, if you're in the market for a new boat, check out the new 2022 model lineup of Sailfish Center Console, Dual Console, and Walk Around Boats, including the all-new 316 Dual Console. Visit SailfishBoats.com for more information and to find a Sailfish dealer near you. No outboard moves from zero to top speed quicker than a Mercury V8 300 horsepower Pro XS. Featuring generous displacement and a performance-tuned powerhead for industry-leading acceleration and top speed. In South Florida, the 300 horsepower Pro XS is perfect for bay and flats boats when you need to cover a lot of water fast. Pro XS simply can't be beat when it comes to performance and reliability. The 300 horsepower Pro XS has everything you need to travel faster, farther, and harder. Hear that? That's the sound of confidence. The sound of confidence brought to you by Nationwide Battery. For over 30 years, boaters and fishermen have counted on Nationwide to fire up their engines, to keep their electronics going, week after week, year after year. They have the largest selection of batteries at the best prices. With dockside installation available, if you count on your boat, then count on Nationwide Battery. Visit them at nationwide-battery.com. Nationwide Batteries, the sound of confidence. Pompano Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Pompano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. 
Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're people's insurance underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's Insurance Underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. Welcome back to the quickest podcast ever. Brought to you by Coles. Today's topic, Easter style. You got a little bit of time if you want to say good we morning. We got a bunch of really great streamers this morning. Yes, thank, thank you guys for waking up, man, every weekend with us. We thank you so much, man. It's just been great this morning. Uh, Gordon Zernich. Elon Talbert. Elon. Our buddy Dave Nauman's on. Al Fernandez. Good morning, brother. Hello, guys. Uh, ba, 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 ba. See here. We got uh, sugar beans. Net, net, Sh- uh, did you say sugar beans? Uh, yeah. Nick Brent, our okay. buddy's out checking us out this morning. Karen Kubinak was the first one to log on every weekend. She's fishing. Wants some tuna tips, you mentioned. Well, sugar beans. Sugar. Oh, sugar beans. <laughs> That's better than breaking oh, the sugar beans. Breaking oh, the sugar beans. FCC bean. violation of uh, cursing. Oh. You know, dropping a Maron. F-bomb or something. So, you guys um, any, I would tell the Facebook streamers, if you guys have any questions about uh, blackfin tunas or whatever else you want us to pa- pose to the captains, you're more than welcome to throw us a Q&A on the uh, stream. What I think we need to do is let's do... Invite them all here? Uh, the entire audience? Just invite them over to Stephen's house on Saturday morning? Oh, yeah. We'll have a... Uh, Streaming live Facebook party. You're listening to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. I know everybody says money can't buy happiness, but it can buy me a boat. Powered by Mercury Marine. It can buy me a truck to boat. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. And the fishing buddies everybody needs. Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. You're hooked into the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Yeah, you are. Nautical uh. Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show is going on. It's been an informative first 15 minutes with Jimbo Thomas. That was a great report, man. All the yeah, stuff Jimbo's doing. great. Alan Zaremba's not got a tuna fish story in his uh, his arse. I mean, he doesn't tuna fish, obviously. So he's, he's not a tuna expert. Maybe he's caught one in his day. I have no idea. But he is the bass man, you know. That's true. So, you know what? He, I, I would. Say, you want to make a bet that he's caught a tuna? I'm. I don't bet you, Joe, because you're too damn lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it, Alan. Good morning, bro. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Oh boy, starting early. Starting early. Lost that motor uh, already, I, man. The wreck of the Alan Zaremba. I, I, Alan, have I, you caught I, a tuna? <laughs> yes, I have. See, hey, I knew it. I knew not to take that bet. <laughs> I knew I'd lose. I knew yes. I'd lose. Thank you. Oh, man. So, uh, Al, uh, you caught that tuna fish what, back in... Has been a few years. Was it nice? Has been a few years, that's all. All right, all right. Okay. Well, I've seen your Facebook stream, man. You've had a banging peacock bass week, man. Talk about it, dude. Yeah. Wow. Uh, a banging everything. I mean, everything's going good this week. Uh, the Everglades has uh, been really phenomenal for me, and, and uh, what's nice about there is when one species turns off, another species takes over, it seems like. So you never know what's going to get going. One day, Oscars are, are going crazy and can't keep them off the hook. Another day, it's Mayan. Another day, it's peacocks hitting topwater plugs. And this has been a really great week for that. A lot, a lot of good topwater fish. And uh, for you guys that like the candy, uh, this is the time to really uh, go after them with some artificials. Okay. What's an artificial? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, my hairpiece. Uh oh. I was. Thinking, have you looked in the mirror lately, by chance, Joe? <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot actually. Go, go ahead, Al. <laughs> oh continue, my god! Continue on, Uh-oh. please. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's gonna get ugly. Uh oh. I'm gonna back off. I, I I can't I can't really go after him. I'm, I mean, Why? I'm still waiting for the picture, but that's okay. <sighs> Go ahead, Al. Continue Alan, I'm on. always on your side, though. Where you left off, Eric now. was saying you never caught a tuna. You don't know how to saltwater fish. And I said, Eric, that is not true. He's the best saltwater fisherman. You didn't say that at all. <laughs> okay. No, and I'm not the best saltwater fisherman either. Well, no, it was... I right. really want to be. Let, let's, let's stay on point, Al. So you're catching peacock bass. You're catching Oscars. And by the way, Joe, 
because folks don't know this, if you're on a really light tackle, and Alec can probably attest to this, catching those Oscars, they're a good fight and fish, man. They're a great fight. They Oscars really, are they really, awesome. They yeah. pull, man. If you yeah. guys haven't caught an Oscar, it's it's they a lot of fun. Fighters, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got a little fly ride, like a four weight or a five weight. You can mm. just have there and have a blast, throw some small flies, and and you can't keep those boogers off your off your hooks practically. Well, keeping boogers off a hook is something I try to avoid. That's for damn sure. Hey, Alan, so if you're if you're let's say wanting to go out and target Oscars, uh, what would be the strategy for that? Well, there, there's a, there are a couple things that's going to work real one, uh, real good on them. One would be like a little Cleo, which is a small spoon, basically with a small hook on it. A beetle spin, uh, crappie jigs, all that stuff will work really well for me. You don't have to do anything fancy. Okay. You can literally go up the side of the banks and just dip it around the pads, and you're going to start catching them. So it, it's uh, an easy way to go, and the kid, it, it's really a good time to get the kids out. And don't forget the big kids. All right. Cool. Now, this will be the, mo- the most ridiculous thing I've ever said before. So how do you catch a bunch of Oscars, uh, Alan? Uh, you gather around Denzel Washington, Will Smith, uh, Al Pacino... And, oh boy! Uh, you've got a wah wah. <laughs> I just I, I, I came to my go with that one. just Eric, came to my Eric stupid brain. Whatever, Al. Eric, why, Eric, why did you have to hit us with that Will Smith? <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, I'm rocking it, dude. I'm rocking it. The poor guy. Yeah. Anyway, so what's the hot spots, man? The glades, the C8, C10 canal. I mean, where the hell you catching these fish, bro? Well, the, the C8 canal's been good. Okay. Uh, the city canals are, are being okay still. Okay. Uh, and today I'm fishing up in the bulk area in those canals uh, in that section. So I'm hoping they're going to be as good as they've been in the others. Uh, but the Everglades is still just on fire. I mean, it, it's if you you can't go wrong out there uh, going out there fishing right now. We're hoping Lake Ida has been great because Joe Hector's got an amazing tournament next weekend, next yeah, Saturday. Next, be next out there. Saturday, it's crazy. That's man. your it's big here. thing, man. Yeah, we got a lot of people just signed up too. What was Are, that? You out? guys. You guys got your kayaks going out there? Yeah, yeah, we'll be in the kayaks. Yep. You know, you know we have a point system for for, for knocking off each kayak. Oh, <laughs> Alan, oh, Alan, you mean man, you <laughs> sit in my bro, man. Come on, dude. Uh, God, that wait. was low. It's tough love. I man. I look at it as tough love for Alan. Take it right. We pick out his gino enough. Might as well take a shot now. Oh. And then. Right? It's yeah. okay. Most people that know me, actually know me, know I will slow down for you guys. Even though sometimes I, when there are 20 of you in the same spot, that gets a little tough. But that's okay. You know, I, I try to be... What if it was me, though, and you saw me in a kayak? He oh, didn't right. He's story. coming right after you, man. He's <laughs> Ma- got his maximum, ass going. Maximum wake. Maximum uh, wake, baby. Yeah, for you, Joe. I have seen that kayak. i never seen that kayak. You mean there was one there? Uh, oh, that upside down one? I know. Hey, man, thanks a lot for your fun and all your humor and all your jabs. We appreciate it. But wait, I got one more question. Of course you do. Alan, one more question. Uh, in, Lake, in Lake Ida, how has it been, though? Do you know? Has it been okay? Well, to tell you the truth, I've not been up in Lake Ida lately. I've been fishing uh, the, the Everglades so much, and then I go up in the Boca system, which is the west of it, to avoid all the kayakers and all the people. Because that lake gets a little crazy with jet skiers and all that it sometimes. It does. So, I, I'm a, I was practicing social distancing long before COVID hit. Gotcha. All right. Well, have a great day, my friend. Catch up all your things, and maybe you run across a tuna now and then if you try hard. No, oh. that's everything. I'm going to get to Marlin today. Okay. <laughs> Marlin, that I got to see, man. Show, show me the picture, okay? Thank <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, I want to see right. a picture. Show me the picture. It's, it's in Joe's phone. Don't okay. you worry about it. Oh, boy. <laughs> Thank you, Al. See you, Alan. Have a good right. one, guys. Hey, I want to put on my camera real quick. I know you have a beautiful daughter, Mia, who you love very much. You're a great, great daddy. Thank you. Tomorrow's Easter, and I thought, I was in Publix last night. I saw these, and I thought these would be perfect for her. That's these are awesome, Easter man. Easter cupcakes. They had, see, happy Easter. Thank little you. sticking out of their oh, head. Oh, she will love that. Little eggs and stuff. So we can't touch these, man. These All right, are, I promise. I'm dying to have one. But Is this so you can give her a sugar hey, rush? Hey, if you want to so bring them in here so I can hold on to them, You mom. ain't getting your ass near these <laughs> cupcakes, pal. Okay, it ain't happening. Thank you, bud. You're very welcome. That was very nice. That, yeah. No, man. You know, it's awesome. all a family show here, man. Love her to death, man. She's a great kid. She's also a very talented angler at the age of, what, two? Yeah. Whatever she is now. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Pretty soon we'll be doing the show and be like, yeah, you know, me and just turned 16, Eric. Well, I just... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. It's going so fast. It That's really is, babe. Yeah. 
You so know, enjoy I, the young time while you can. Yeah. And I got to thank Warren, too. Did you see the rod he made her? I saw it. Amazing. That was yeah. so cool. Yeah. So Very Warren cool. from Power Core, yeah. Custom Rods, thank you. It's all a big family here, man. Yeah. Take a little break. Come back with Stan, the man hot here at Fox Sports 940, My baby. Man. Yeah. Live. <laughs> South Florida fishermen know that this is Blue Water Country, where big fish, big water, and big expectations sit right offshore. So we build Blue Water boats for the Blue Water fishermen, where yacht-grade construction meets 21st century technology. And compromise? Well, we leave that for the other guys. You can customize your own Blue Water boat by visiting bluewatersportfishingboats.com and discover why boating is better on a Blue Water. Mercury Verado 400 horsepower outboards are built to power the largest boats for the boldest adventures on the water. Verado's proven supercharged power head delivers pure marine muscle for unequaled whole shot and superior top speed. Yet Verado 400 remains true to its roots, delivering the best overall boating experience with an advanced midsection that virtually eliminates vibration while acoustic engineering on the cowl intake and exhaust minimize sound. Test drive Mercury's 400 horse Verado today. If you're looking to breathe new life into your boat, new motors will open up a whole new world. Nautical Ventures has several repowering options to fit your needs and budget. They carry the top brands including Mercury, Yamaha, Evinrude, Toatsu, and a wide range of horsepower to give you all the speed you could need. Plus, they offer repower finance programs with affordable, low monthly payments. Contact Nautical Ventures today and talk to their pros about repower options. Call 954-926-5250 or go to nauticalventures.com. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for power. Remember the glory days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Take your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. Catch more fish with Fish Brain, the world's most popular fishing app. Fish Brain provides the tools you need to fish better, helping you to make bigger and better catches. With over 14 million anglers from around the world, no other fishing app contains as much detailed data as Fish Brain. Find catches, make connections, learn different fishing techniques. Everywhere from your local pond to the middle of the ocean, it's the only fishing app with maps for every body of water, with specific layers for catches, waypoints, and depth contours. So start catching more fish with Fish Brain. Join for free at fishbrain.com. You ever feel like when you're at work, everything you say sounds like this because you're completely unstimulated and you don't care. But then, when you're talking to your friends about things you're truly interested in and passionate about, you sound like you're alive and loving every moment of it. Then maybe you should try podcasting with Spreaker from iHeart. It's the easiest way to podcast and get paid for it. Just head over to Spreaker.com, S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R, and start your voyage. From, ugh, to woo! Gain presents a tale of longing and long-lasting scent. Dear love of my life, we were on the 12B bus when I caught a whiff. A scent so fresh, so life-changing, I had to find its source. I didn't know if you were the woman in the pink freshly washed cardigan or the retired mailman next to me, but I knew one of you was my soulmate. Ah, the scent of Gain Flings. Add Gain Scent Beads for an even longer lasting scent. This is Chris Collinsworth. Here's what's trending on the iHeart Sports Network, presented by DraftKings. Got a little bit of time. I'm going to say quickly good morning to anybody here. I'm sorry. Joe was just brainstorming with another phenomenal idea. I had to hear the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, b -b 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 William Talbert says, uh, you, you rock, Joe. Thank you, brother. Josh DeAndrea. Good morning, boys. Good morning, dude. Ozzy Cho, what's up, my neighbor? What's going on, bro? What's happening? We have. I still Where have my go? polluted lake, and I haven't seen too many peacock bass go by after the sewage spill of 800 million gallons, oh. I might add. Still not happy about that damn thing. But whatever. Nice. Yeah, it was uh, quite the uh, tragedy, and uh, the city of Miami Lakes just covered it up, and like nothing ever happened. Wow. Yeah, it's like put it on the so old. So what's uh, going to happen with your lake? I don't even know. They're supposed to come out and test the water quality. There's still signs of saying don't fish, don't swim, don't live. 
you found the secret spot to get your fishing in. The Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. I want to go fishing. Powered by Mercury Marine. I don't ever want to stop. With Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. Anything you want to know about fishing or boating, troll us at 866-801-0940. Holy cow. This is more serious than I thought. Watch the show live on the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. We'll certainly look forward to that. The Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. We say, yeah, it is, man. Weekly Fisherman Show brought to you by Nautical Ventures, Mercury Marine, Sailfish Boats, Papano Ford, TheHappyBoating.com, and Boom. so many great sponsors on the program. Uh, Fish Brain, thank you for being on the program. Simrad jumped on the board, so yeah. uh, got some nice heavy hitters on the show here. So. I'm loving it, man. And like Mercury Marine, baby, yeah. We're excited. We are excited. I'm excited because uh, Danny Ramos is normally our point guy at this time of the day, but I could not ask for a better guy. To be backing him up, that Stan Hunt, Stan <gasps> the man on the rebound. My man, I fish with Stan so many times, and he's got techniques up to Yazoo. Yes, he does. I'll say Stan, I want Wahoo. So put out a sea witch. I'll get a Wahoo. I want a tuna. I'll put out something else. I'll get a tuna. That's that's Stan. You it's, know what else is great about Stan? Uh, he hunts. He's got a beautiful wife and children. Keep going. What? Keep going. He's, he there's like, something very important. Oh, he actually likes you. And, and we have something in common. What, man? Let him come on. I think Stan can say it for himself. What is that? He knows. What do we have in common? Let's go Raiders. Yeah, baby. Oh, you had to get that crap in. Oh, my God. (laughs) Jesus, you had to get that in. Okay, come on. Yes. How do those Raiders do in the Super Bowl this year? Oh, sorry. (laughs) First of all, We're going to see this year. Exactly. Yeah, we'll find out. Stan, good morning to you, my friend. Thanks for jumping in, man. What's up, brother? Oh, good morning, guys. How y'all doing? Hey, we're doing great, Stan. You're on the show. I heard you'd be fishing this week, and you're fishing today, huh? Yes, sir. I'm just uh, waiting for him now and just fine-tuning my uh, tuna and sailfish rigs for this morning. Did you get that fine-tuning? Fine-tuning? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was great, Stan. We caught that. Fine-tuning, man. That was great. I like that. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Been up since, like, 3.30, you know, making rigs and getting it all ready. You see, right there. Right there, this is where people need to listen. Yeah. The the first thing he just said, the first sentence, he's up creating his own rigs, getting dialed in hours before he's even going. Just just, pay attention, guys. Dedication, my friend, to the sport. Last night night I was up real late um, just making sea witches, you know, because I want to fish what the fish have been biting on while I'm out there, so... (laughs) I make exactly that, you know, and then I got to rig it all up in the morning, of course. But um, hey, Joe, yeah, basically, just wanted to make sure the, the picture of Stan is uh, the one with you next to him. Here, I was to make sure I have the right picture up because he's got a Lemieux Charters shirt on. So yeah, yeah, that's him. That's, that's him right there. I'll tell you why because Stan actually they captain each with each uh, other. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. When, 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 Chris, when Chris can't fish, he picks on Stan to manage up and do his thing. Hmm. Correct, I'm, Stan? I'm running the uh, Lemieux Charters comp this morning, guys. Oh, oh, I love that boat, man. There's twin mercs on the back. Yeah, he's got a badass ride, man. For sure, yeah. That's it, man. It's a killing boat, and it's got a killing owner and, you know, yeah. a couple of killers that kill on it. So. <laughs> well, so back up a little bit, Stan. We talked last night. So uh, what have you been catching this week, man? Bring us up to date. What's been happening? Yeah, man. Uh, actually, last couple weeks, those tunas have been showing up pretty okay. decent for us. Okay. You know, um, live baiting, they've been catching some nicer ones, 20, 25 pounders. Uh, we caught a couple of them last tournament, too, as well as, you know, a bunch of other boats. A um, couple wahoos around still lately, okay. trolling them. Okay. Uh, I did catch a bunch of sailfish, too, my last couple trips up here in Boynton. Nice. Uh, trolling as well. And uh, really, the deal with that is I've been starting out front, working to the north, you know, I'll find some fish, the tunas or whatever. I'll make some circles around the tuna. Mm-hmm. Uh, they've been about 200 feet in average lately, you know, 180, 220 in there. Right. A couple bonitas mixed in. Um, but I'll, I'll work it to the north, man, and I'll get a wahoo bite or two wahoo bites. And generally, tunas and the wahoos will kind of slowly be going to the north. So right. you kind of keep going to the north, turn into the north, you know, and you'll find them again and get on um, but this has really been concentrated on the flying fish hard, too, lately. Not a lot of flyers around, but the ones that are around are getting eaten. Hmm. And, of course, that's pretty much what I've been making uh, every night to imitate <laughs> flying fish with my sea witches. And, and how are you doing that, that, Stan? 
if you don't mind me asking. You know, I I'm a glower, not a shower. Oh, so I don't like uh, like that. I don't like uh, big bold colors. You know, like a lot of people like fishing like all pink or all green or you know something like that. But I like to basically I do like a clear blue and white with a lot of shine and mylar in it, and then I'll use like a light blue and clear uh, glow skirt underneath. Hmm. And basically, it looks just like a flying fish, you know, flying through the water. Right. Uh, the other day, I was I was fishing my morning squid, which I usually get tight on, you know, in the morning. Mm-hmm. And I didn't get a bite on it. And my long uh, planer rod was just going off, you know, with the flying fish, the blue and white. Nice. So I changed everything. I put, you know, four blue and whites out there. It was kind of tough to, to fish with the seaweed and all. Right. But, um, you know, after that, just nonstop, you know, all the blue and whites are getting eaten. Um, purple and whites have been good too with the sailfish lately and I've been getting the bites on the sailfish after I work my way to the north and catch my meat fish mm-hmm. and I kind of slowly just I troll back to the south you know about 160, 170, 180 and I've been getting a lot of sailfish bites on the planers actually teasing them up on the planer we call it the old bait and switch <laughs> so I'll tease them up on the planer I'll row real fast stop bait row switch. real fast stop you know <laughs> Yeah, right. they, they get up there on top right behind the boat, and I'll fire them. And catch wow. them on that. So. Damn, man. Yeah, the other morning, I had two triple header bites, caught two each time, and there were more fish there, too. So, it was, you know, it's pretty cool. That is so cool. Great information, man. I was telling people on a, on a Facebook post last night, if you want to learn to, to catch these fish better, listen to our captains on the tuna yeah. segment today. Yeah. And again, man, everybody's got their own style, but if you pay attention to what Stan's saying and Jimbo and everybody else, you'll catch your fish better, man. 100%. You know, with, with the techniques they're using. You know, yeah. planers and, you know, and sea witches and whatever else, you know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And Stan, you're, you know, you're like the tuna king, man. I mean, you won... If I, if I might be mistaken, but you won a couple of these tournaments with the blackfin over the kingfish, right? Yeah, tunas. Yep, tunas and wahoos more yeah, than man. the kingfish. And, yeah. You know, it usually takes you some time to catch them tunas or wahoos, so then you don't have too much time for the kingfish. But, you know, if you go, usually we're running to Jupiter or somewhere, catch the kings, then we got to run all the way back here south to catch the tunas usually. So, right. Yeah, man. But yeah, been doing good on the tunas and. What's you know, a, mainly just lighter, lighter stuff. They see very well. You right. know, a little smaller hooks on them. Sure. So, what's yep. your what's your strategy? Like, what would you tell someone new that wants to go out catch a bla- like a jumbo blackfin? What would you what, like point blank? What would you say to them? You go to the tackle shop. He puts his sea witches in, and you buy them. Okay, <laughs> that's where you go. That's go what you aces, do. You go to Aces, Aces sand hunt, sea witches, and you buy sea witches, go. man. Get on my charter. <laughs> That's it. Come on, man. Give us because Joe's the king of promotion there, Stan. So I'm gonna give you props, man, on your damn bait. You know. Thanks, buddy. That's it. You know, honestly though, trolling, you're gonna catch more tunas, smaller tunas, and then a big one here and there too. You know, if you really want to catch the bigger black fins, you know, set up the kites, do some live. Bait. The only problem is, you know, we're only getting like one or two black fin at a four or five from the sharks so that's kind of hurting us yeah. too but yeah. and trolling you know trolling you're kind of ripping them up to the top quick and you keep moving <laughs> Thank you, the sharks don't get many of them and yeah very gotcha. cool hey stand a minute uh, yeah tip, tip for today and this weekend I'm you know ready. it's gonna be a full moon here so get your baits your if you're trolling your planer rods get them back there let them further back you know okay. get them a little deeper in the water right fish are gonna be deep this morning you know with the moon coming and uh, get some bites, get them deeper, get them further back. Yep. You don't get any bites, and you'll get a bite. That's nice. good information, my friend. Yeah. Stan, thank you very much, man. So uh, I haven't given your boat some props in a while. How, how do folks fish on the rebound or get a hold of you and do their thing with the man, Stan, the man? Yeah, man, they can still call my uh, the rebound number. Captain Norm's running all the time, and I am still running it here and there. Okay. You know, I do a lot of NFL guys and you know, my good customers, but 954 954- Seven eight one five zero zero one. That's the rebounds number. And then if you're up here north too, I can get you out. You know, in Boynton or Stewart as well. So. Outstanding. Well, Stan, yeah. hey, kick ass today, man. Hope you catch him up and uh, yeah. 
Phenomenal tips on the tuna thing, man. It's, I, I learned something new on the show every awesome. weekend. And, yeah, uh, that's great. I fish with him personally, and I've seen his favorite color of uh, sea witches. I know exactly what he uses. <laughs> and yeah. uh, he's got a deadly little secret going on there, which is now not a secret because it's now on the show. Yeah. So, we Stan, we gotta we gotta hit up a Raider game this year or what? Oh, shut up. <laughs> hey, have you taken any Raiders? Stan, you taking any Raiders on your fishing boat yet? Yeah, I do actually. Oh. Here and there all the time. dude, you gotta get me some autographs. I, I went on that big cruise and uh, there was actually just people everywhere with Raider hats and Raider shirts, and I only seen like two other teams the whole time. So that was awesome. <laughs> Well, no you're walking, Dolphins, you're walking to take Tua on a one-way trip, uh, my friend. <laughs> so uh, have a... Oh, boy. <laughs> Are you talking about Tua or Tuna today? <laughs> Tua or Tuna. Yeah. Anyway, Stan, thank you. We're going to make a break here, but hey, yeah. have a great day, bro. You're awesome. Thanks, man. brother. Right, Thanks guys. so much. You too. You know what time it is, Joey? Time for the Starbright Bucket, baby. Nice. It is. Time All for right. the Starbright Bucket. Cool. Now, normally we're doing a trivia question, which we'll do again today. Do you have something pre-planned? Because if you don't, I have something barely uh, acceptable to use on the show. Why don't, I mean, it, I did the last one. You want to do this one? I'll do it, yeah. We'll just keep switching back and forth? I'll make it super easy. First of all, do not give the answer on the Facebook stream. Please call this number. Right. 866-801-0940. Don't send me a private message I'll like even, last time. I'll even go slower. 866-801-0940. Here we go. Next Saturday, Joe Hector's got a major tournament going on. Do you happen to know what species he's trying to catch next weekend or what this damn thing's called? What do you be catching? Main species. A. Okay. A. Mako. B. Is it a kingfish tournament? Or C. Would it be a bass thing? Hmm. Main Shake. species. Main it's, species. It's, oh, boy. What do you mean? I, I blew the trivia did you question? Screw, did you screw this well, one up it, already? Well, no, but it's kind of a hat. It's... I can't say it, though. Well, if they say... I'll, I'll go if with I it. gave him... Okay, I gave him Wahoo. I gave him, I don't know, something else. And you bass. said Mako Shark? I said Kingfish. Ma Mako, Kingfish, and, and Bass. And Peacock Bass. That's what I said, yeah. You said yeah. Bass. Okay, I didn't call it. There's a big difference. I, I just keep, Whatever, man. Just call it a damn I show. I fixed it. We're good. You win the bucket. Give me the right answer. I get him off my back about not wording it properly. You to make up. We're doing so well in arguing. Now we're... Not, no, 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 now I'm totally pissed off. 641 <laughs> at Fox Sports 940, baby. Live! Starting Monday. Want to win a thousand bucks? Well, then we hope you've trained those fingers to spring into action every hour from nine. How, how can you screw that up, man? Unbelievable. Oh, my goodness. For your chance to get a grand in your hand. Need to get out on the water? Look no further than Sailfish Boats. For nearly four decades, Sailfish Boats have been catching their limit along Florida's southeast coast, providing families and friends the perfect platform to create lasting memories. With head-turning styling, sail tech construction, and incredible on-the-water performance, Sailfish Boats are sure to meet your demanding needs and wants. Each boat features the legendary Deep V Variable Degree Steep Tull, intelligent ergonomics throughout, and a list of standard features for those seeking a boating experience at an undeniable value. Plus, deep gunnels, comfortable seating, Roomy heads, plenty of storage, plus an abundant number of cup holders only steps away from another make Sailfish Boats a must-see. Fishing-focused and family-friendly, Sailfish Boats are versatile. Enjoy hardcore fishing in the morning, afternoon activities with family or friends, or entertain with the Sunset Cruise, all with one boat. So, if you're in the market for a new boat, check out the new 2022 model lineup of Sailfish Center Console, Dual Console, and Walk Around Boats, including the all-new 316 Dual Console. Visit SailfishBoats.com for more information and to find a Sailfish dealer near you. Nothing beats the thrill of extreme kayak fishing with little standing between you and fighting a monster fish. And when it comes to kayak fishing, nothing beats a Hobie with its hands-free Mirage Drive propulsion system. Nautical Ventures is your exclusive Hobie dealer for Broward and Palm Beach. They have the widest selection of models and accessories to make your Hobie uniquely yours. They're rigged by our in-house experts who fish the tournaments. They know what it takes to win. Go to nauticalventures.com to learn more. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for Hobie. Need a place to store your boat? How about a wet slip with ocean access? One with hurricane protection and a full service yard? Nautical Ventures Marine Center in the heart of Fort Lauderdale has dockage starting at just $12 per foot per month, the lowest rate in Broward County. Our full service yard performs all boat works from bottom paint to engine repower to total refits. Coming soon, a new state-of-the-art 200-unit dry stack. Go to nauticalventures.com slash marina for more information. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for fun on the water. 
Wapato Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Wapato Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. I'm George Poveromo, and I've made washing and detailing my boat an art. All avoid dish soap, which quickly strips away protective wax coating and even begins eating into the gel coat. For me, it's Starbright Boat Washes exclusively. They're specifically formulated to keep boat surfaces impeccably clean and protected without stripping wax finishes. Available in pine, citrus, and blueberry scents. Go to Starbright.com to find a retailer near you. Starbright. Clean and protect. Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're people's insurance underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's insurance underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. New on Curiosity Stream. We're Gentlemen, you have a little bit of time if you want to say good morning to our fine Facebook friends and family. His name is Steven. <laughs> His name is Steven. Oh, let's see here. Uh, I was too busy talking to my friend Joe with some amazing ideas he's got. Hello. Uh, ba, 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 Gordon Zernich. Uh, Howard Kirk. Saying hey. Hi. Oh, Tom Bell. Good morning, guys. What's up, Tommy? Howard Kirk. He's watching the show in the Star Trek chair. You sound like a guy He's, having a stroke. I sound like a guy who's constipated, actually. <laughs> <laughs> You're like pushing really hard. <laughs> He's watching the show uh, looking for Sulu. Uh, there's a fish on the rock. Oh, my. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, my. You got to go deeper. You got to go. You got the radio voice. Oh, my. Yeah. Oh, oh my. my. Oh. Yeah, Steven does it really good. Oh, my. Sulu, baby. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah, Steven Sulu. Sulu. He looks good in the bunny suit. Oh. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Beat me in. Oh. All right, so we have a winner for the Starbright Bucket. We do. We, do. Right. we have a winner. Yep, we do. We have a winner. Is it me? Joe, you're always a wonder. By the way, folks, <laughs> on the Facebook stream, you remember the couple weeks ago and maybe months ago, Joe brought on this disgusting mushroom juice crap. It was the best. What are you bad. talking Come on, about? Man. It, it poisoned me. I Stephen I, I, I took one sip. I was I good. We both talk. liked it here. I got him a bag of mushroom jerky, oh, which I geez. had no, no idea. I'm not trying that. They were making his crap, but Joe goes, oh, yeah, it's everywhere, man. And the whole world's going to mushrooms. Yeah. I did those back in high school, by the way. Uh, you know. Wow. Yeah. Okay. How was it? It was very tasty, actually. Really? Yeah, it was very cool. You're catching all the fish because you're tuned into the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show, powered by Mercury Marine. Don't catch all the fish. Drink all the beer. Drink it down. With your hosts, two legendary fishermen, Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Oh, I certainly admire people who do things. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln, an easy way to car. You're just the guy I want to see. Glad you're here. Drop the guys a line at 866-801-0940. One ringy dingy. And now, while you drink all the fish and catch all the beer. Come on, pull yourself together. It's back to Eric Brandon and Joe Hector on the Nautical Ventures Weekly fisherman show one of our faithful viewers on facebook and on the radio at 940 was the right caller ozzy achala i think has the right answer i do believe ozzy, ozzy species mako what's going on gentlemen good morning know. we're trying to figure this whole thing out with this question i screwed up here mako <laughs> ozzy help us out here, tuna buddy. or peacock bass what the hell is the species he's featuring next weekend on the big tournament dude it's the peacock bass. My man. Ah, peacock bass, which you know a whole lot of, man. Ozzy, congratulations, my friend. is going to help me win that tournament. Nice. Just because you won the bucket don't mean you get any special <laughs> favors, pal, okay? <laughs> now, you got to start by bucket, Ozzy. Nice. You, you have a boat to put it on? Maybe uh, somebody's boat to apply it to? Boat to have No, I got, I got two two kayaks uh, to uh, clean up uh, for now. And, uh, you know, I'm... Uh, 
I'm hunting for a boat right now. I haven't found the uh, the right one yet. But, uh, nice. That bucket is definitely going to help. Just hey, so you know, uh, man, these products, by the way, work on kayaks yeah. really, oh, yeah. really yeah. well. Yeah, by the man. way, Ozzy, when you do get a boat, I, since you are Ozzy, you can just say... <laughs> that's great. Ah. Uh, Steve and Jake Grant, oh, yeah. why you're the crazy man. We love you, man. Oh, that's All awesome. right. Ozzy, I'll give you a holler after the show and tell you where to pick up your bucket, man. Ozzy, you ready for the tournament? All right, man. Awesome. Awesome. I appreciate it, guys. Ozzy, you ready for the tournament coming up? Oh, yes, for sure. Nice. Unlocked and loaded. Ready to go. All right, man. All right, Ozzy. Thank See you, man. You I'll talk to you soon, bro. All right, George. Friend, uh, I put him on uh, the Facebook stream last night, a photo of him holding... A black tuna on a kayak. Of all the photos I posted, that one got about 150,000 likes. Of course. I mean, they were just eating that up, man. Yeah. People Sean love that Rolls, stuff. your man. Bring yeah. him on, baby. Captain <laughs> Sean Rolls. <laughs> hey, brother. Morning. John, that, that, photo, How are you? that photo I put on uh, the Facebook stream, man, got a lot of heat, bro. They were loving that one, dude. Nice photo. Yeah. Yeah, that was a, that was an early morning bite there in live bait. Um, it's a great way to catch them. It's actually not my favorite way to catch them, though. Oh. Okay. Well, well this whole show's and, about uh, tuna fish. Talk about your favorite thing to do, man. So, kind of hard to follow up some of the like, Stan Hunt there because uh, <laughs> he's a local legend. Yeah, buddy. And I agree with everything he said, but generally from the kayak, you know, we're not going to be right. trolling planers and strips and stuff. Exactly. Yep. So, the best way we catch them is jigging. Yep. There you go. Wait, now, hold on. That's a new one. We've heard about live yeah. bait and sea witches, whatever else. Now he's talking about jigging. So, I know where Sean's getting. I'd probably uh, call it, yeah. wait from you. I'd call it, I don't know, a couple hundred tuna, and 80% of them have been on jigs. Yeah. Uh, the slow pitch jig, uh, primarily just let it flutter down, and they would bang it on the way down or on the way up uh, normally. So Sean. the slow pitch works great, and it's definitely more effective than yeah. regular vertical jigging. But for the average person going out, you can buy a $150 rod, put some braid on it, and a $10 jig, and you can catch just as many tuna that way. Yep. I haven't seen a $10 jig in a long time. I don't yeah. know where you're shopping. Maybe Walmart. <laughs> but anyway, so... Yeah. No, no, you, don't, you don't have to have a slow pitch jig. Actually, uh, Ace's Bait and Tackle, they have all the gypsy jigs. That's where I used to always buy them there. Yep. and Those are great. They're, I hear, yeah, they're I hear, great. I, caught, I hear Ace's on the show. I caught Brooper on Cobia. Yeah. Yeah, they're the a stable in the uh, local fishing community. They're right there by the boat ramp, and don't mind they got the plug at all, man. They're a local business, and they yeah, obviously Jose owns the it. Show, Great so, guy. Yeah. They've been around forever. I mean, he was one of the first guys I met when I moved here. Yeah, they, they're, they're they're not shy about giving you information. Right. Um, they're just one of those like local tackle shops that, that Friendly they guys. want people to catch fish. They want to share some stories and yeah. tips and techniques. Yeah. So, Sean, have you tried ever, you've tried to use a Johnny Jigs or Jimmy Jigs? There's a couple different brands out there. I've uh, Johnny Jigs is, is the Jigs that I use. Yeah, they're badass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they really are good. They're actually, they're actually another local shop. Um, I met them when I first started coming up. Johnny's actually my neighbor. He was like five houses from me, so I see him quite often. <laughs> Should be a lot of those Jigs in your tackle box being a neighbor, I'm thinking, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, I have a lot. Actually, um, I first got in the slow pitch. They gave me a couple of jigs, and my second time out, I caught a 32 pound tuna. Wow, that's from awesome. the kayak. That's a big so, fish, by the way. That was my, uh, yeah, that was my biggest tuna to date, and need to say I was hooked after that. Yeah. Sean, for so. for so I get a lot of questions on slow pitch jigging. It's it's really getting. You popular. can't ask them all because Bouncer's holding on line number two. Okay, real quick, He's real next. quick. Uh, just a real quick answer for someone that ha knows nothing about slow pitch jigging. What would you tell them about it? YouTube. <laughs> um, go to Real Deal Bait and Tackle. Oh, oh the mic there. Okay, all right. And he'll get you set up. Okay. It's, all right. I have spend one the you. money. Spend the money up front. Yeah. Don't buy it twice. Buy it once. I'm going to ask Sean this last question where he goes. So we talk about his kayak technique, right? Right. Sean, we know you do boat a lot and fish out of boats. So when you're on a boat looking for tuna fish, what's your tactic that that way, my friend? Uh, best way is the kite, in my opinion. Okay. But I do catch a lot of big ones on the troll, too. Okay. I know Stan, the man was saying the fact that he likes to troll for the tuna fish. So yeah. I think Sean's backing it up as well. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Total yeah, right now, I'll give you a little tip before I go this weekend. Yeah. There's a lot of current. There's a lot of a lot of weeds. Okay. So I'd recommend saving the gas money on the troll and go buy some live bait. Put the kites up. Set up a little drift. It's probably your way to fish this weekend. Nice, Sean. Thank you, bro. 
Good yeah, stuff as always, my friend. Oh. Yeah, and you, uh, you've won a grand prize for being the most watched photo on the Facebook stream. So Boom! I'll get some too, right. man. Maybe an extra shark bite bracket I'll throw at you. A shark, right, shark, shark bite bracket? Go to Shiners on the way home. We'll go fishing. <laughs> That'll be my thank, prize. That's it, Sean, man. Hey, thank you, bro. Have a great weekend, Sean. Thanks, Sean. I'll talk right, to you later. Right. See you guys. See ya. All right, so the captain's back. We had a little technical problem last weekend. A little phone issue, but we're back and swinging form today. Everything's working beautifully, I might add. Cool. Let's go to Georgia, maybe. I don't know where the hell he is. He's always somewhere. Captain Bowser Smith, good morning to you. Hey, Captain. I've been in Georgia counting the minutes till I head back to Miami. <laughs> nice. Well, Captain Bowser, I know in your, your your decades you've caught a whole lot of tuna fish. That's for darn sure. Yeah. George Pomeromo and I were out one day, and we tied the world's record for 20-pound test. With a 42-pounder. Wow. What? I think the all-tackle record is 46 pounds. But uh, Wow. That's <laughs> awesome. Beautiful fish. 42-pounder. Really that's a big huge. surprise. That is huge. Wow. Well, one of many no records. Doubt about that. that. Yeah, Captain Bouncer holds, my friend. That's a big boy. Well, I know I fished on your boat, Captain, with my grandkids. We've caught those uh, on your boat, and uh, I've, I've fished with you and caught so many darn things. But I guess my question, we're asking every captain, what's your favorite way to catch these blackfin tuna, or tunas in particular, or whatever? Well, I think that everybody uh, you talk to, their, truly their favorite way would be chumming live filters. Right. Because uh, when you get to do that, it's just unbelievable. But I sat next to a captain named Joe Turner in a uh, tournament. Several. Uh, it was a. It was a uh, Miami Dolphins tournament, mm-hmm. and I sat next to him and watched him chum with chopped up uh, sardines and squid. He had a fifty-five uh, fifty-five gallon drum mm-hmm. full of chopped up bait. And all day long, he sat in the one same place off of South Beach and just kept throwing out hands full of chum and floating baits back and fishing some live baits. And he just had those black tunas locked in behind the boat. And I don't know how many, 20 or 30 of these big 15 to 30 pound black tunas. And almost all of them were caught on chunks of cut bait. But he did it by constantly throwing the chum overboard. So uh, hmm. there you go. He, he couldn't get any live bait, so he got uh, 25 pound flats of frozen bait, just chopped it all up, and away he went. Really nice. taught us a lesson there. Well, so, Cap, uh, I want to ask you a question, Cap. When you, you catch a bonita or two or three, which we know there's a pain in the ass, but are, are tuna, blackfin tuna hanging with that same species? Are they hanging out together at all? That's a good question. Thank <laughs> you. I, I I don't I yes I do know that blackfin tuna is frequently caught in with bonitas, but I don't know if they're traveling together or if they just have to be coming through and the bonitas are everywhere and everything else is trying to get a shot in the game. But but in the uh, Gulf of Mexico behind the shrimp boat, you'll have ten bonitas and one tuna. And ten bonitas and one tuna, <laughs> and and you say, well, how am I going to get the tuna out of there? Yeah, the bonitas don't like crabs, and oh. the tunas will eat the crabs. So you throw a crab and you get a tuna. You throw a pilchard or a a dead croaker or something, you get a bonita. So you go with the the crustaceans and you cut down on them. An interesting thing is you can chum blackfin tunas with bonita chunks. But bonitas don't eat bonita chunks, as a general rule. Okay. <laughs> so uh, you can cut down on your bonitas by using that as a chunk bait as well. Right. I do want to mention one thing before we run out of time this morning. Yeah. I know you're on a timely budget. Yep. But I caught something really neat this week. I got a editor's copy of Bouncer's Dusky, uh, Captain Bouncer Smith's book, Not Done Yet. No kidding. Another I one's have out? fourth book out. Wow, you've been between fishing and what you're writing too. How do you find time for all this, Cap? It's amazing. That's awesome. Jeez. Well, I, I got to stay busy somehow. So you are staying busy. Really you... exciting. This book's got pictures and everything else. It's really, really neat. You're busier now, uh, retired, than you were when you were fishing. I think. I mean, you're doing everything, my friend. So that is great, well, Cap. Yeah. You know, I am having a lot of fun. Well, we'll see you down this way when when you're heading back down south to uh, Miami. 
I'm pulling out of uh, I'll be sh- I'll be in Florida Monday night. I'll probably be in Miami uh, Tuesday morning. Outstanding. Well, I'm yeah. looking forward to getting down there. So Although you did scare me a little bit this morning. You had that weather girl on, and she said it was already 80 degrees at 6.30 in the morning or 6 <laughs> o'clock in the morning. And up here, it's 40 degrees, and it's been pouring down rain for the last two hours. So. Yeah. It, down here, it's Radical breezy. change in the weather. It's a nice day, man. It really is nice down here. Yeah. Well, thanks, Cap. Good, Good luck with the, the brand new book, and uh, come on and see us uh, on the show set, or just say hey when you're in town, my friend. Definitely. I'll certainly give it my best shot. Thanks, Cap. You too, my friend. Great thanks, stuff, Captain. as always. Take a little break. and back with the big 7 o'clock hour. George Park, I know it's caught a whole bunch of tuna fish. You know that for a fact. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. And, Stephen, I just sent you a photo of uh, of my personal biggest on the kayak. I That's think good. That's people want to see it. Well, I, and uh, you're going to send a fish pic, too, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's me with, on the kayak with the tuna. <laughs> he's going to send a fish <laughs> He's such a wise ass. I know, man. right? He's just... Do you have a bad night, Steve, or are you okay, buddy? I, I'm actually, I'm feeling really good, man. Uh, it's Mr. Wise-Ass to you. <laughs> oh, I knew he was going to say that. Kill it back to you, man. 7 o'clock right here on the dot. Fox Sports 940. Live. I love the ocean. <laughs> Me? I love a slow, winding river. I love the lake. Slick as glass. But nothing compares to what you love inside the boat. My family. My child. My best friend from first grade. If you're behind the wheel of a boat, pay attention. That way your favorite water will always be safe water. Learn more about boating safety at myfwc.com. Brought to you by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. South Florida fishermen know that this is blue water country. Where big fish, big water, and big expectations sit right offshore. So we build blue water boats for the blue water fishermen where yacht-grade construction meets 21st century technology. And compromise? Well, we leave that for the other guys. You can customize your own blue water boat by visiting bluewatersportfishingboats.com and discover why boating is better on a blue water. You love your boat. You love the water. But you'll love them both even more with a new Mercury V8 four-stroke outboard on the transom. The four-stroke 4.6-liter V8 powerhead delivers exhilarating acceleration and top speed with uncompromising durability and reliability. While its advanced midsection and undercowl noise management create the smoothest, quietest ride on the water. The 250 and 300 horsepower four-strokes are famous for superior hole shot and fuel efficiency. See your Mercury dealer today for the exciting 250 and 300 horsepower four-stroke outboards. If you're looking to breathe new life into your boat, New Motors will open up a whole new world. Nautical Ventures has several repowering options to fit your needs and budget. They carry the top brands including Mercury, Yamaha, Evinrude, Toatsu, and a wide range of horsepower to give you all the speed you could need. Plus, they offer repower finance programs with affordable, low monthly payments. Contact Nautical Ventures today and talk to their pros about repower options. Call 954-926-5250 or go to nauticalventures.com. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for power. Pompano Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Pompano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're People's Insurance Underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's Insurance Underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. Catch more fish with Fishbrine, the world's most popular fishing app. Fishbrine provides the tools you need to fish better, helping you to make bigger and better catches. With over 14 million anglers from around the world, no other fishing app contains as much detailed data as Fishbrine. Find catches, make connections, learn different fishing techniques. Everywhere from your local pond to the middle of the ocean, it's the only fishing app with maps for every body of water, with specific layers for catches, waypoints and depth contours. So start catching more fish with Fishbrine. Join for free at fishbrine.com. New message. Hey, Little man. bit of time. You want to say good morning? Good morning. Oh, you mean the people? You mean? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our, our okay. Facebook friends and family. 
quite a few here. Uh, Sean Rolls was doing some yik yak. Dave Nauman and Joe are talking some tackle talk. Uh, let's see here. Hello. Hello. Scott DeMarco from New Jersey. How's it going, brother? He fishes There's, my events. Uh, William Press. What's up, William? Good morning, Scott. Pressing. I've got this uh, mushroom jerky, man. You want to try a bite of this since you're just a mushroom freak? No. Holy crap. What do you mean, no? I bought this for you. It cost me five bucks at Publix. Oh, you bought head. that for me? Because you're, you're in the shrooms, man. Eric, come here. Come no, here. I am not. Hey, just come here. I'm not giving you no love. Come Joe, here. No. no. Forget about Eric's it, Eric's cranky today. I'm not cranky. I feel great. I'm just not going to give you Let's talk love. about it. Why are you cranky? I'm not going to give you any love, man. No. Just give me a hug. <laughs> Dude, you're giving me the weirdest look. I'm getting a little weird. I'm, 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 I'm moving my seat away a little bit, man. <laughs> Fishing's a beautiful day. Now back to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Powered by Mercury Marine and brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. Now, here's your fishing buddies, Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Yeah, down to the Keys we go. Our favorite guy. I love his show, man. The My man. Guys. Saw a couple of uh, Instagram posts this week. He showed some highlights of his program mm -hmm. uh, in the kitchen, doing some crazy ass things like George normally does. Yeah, <laughs> I think we might do a snakehead uh, cook-off at the tournament, George and I. You think? Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm making that man. For yeah. Sure, next Saturday, baby. If people get him. Yeah. Nibbling on spoons, cake. George Clark. What's up, dude? Snakehead. My, my man. Snakehead. 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 Yeah. Snakehead. Different than snake. Snake eyes. You know what I'm saying? Snake head. Snake eyes. <laughs> hey, George, good morning, bro. How you doing, man? You doing good? I'm doing good. Yeah, I'm doing good, guys. How's it going? It's going great. By the way, I want to thank you personally for that tip about uh, not looking at my wrist all the time with the time. I've got this crazy-ass clock you had me bring on the show, and it's really working well. I'm making more eye contact with yeah, the audience. Yeah, really listen to you. Less, in, you know, less on my arm. Right. Hey. And, and thank you, man. Appreciate it. No, no, I. You know what? I just think I think you're gonna uh, enjoy the show more now. Yeah, I'm just I wearing, agree. I'm, I'm Stop being so cranky. I'm a word on my wrist, look, Joe. There you go. Oh, Let's that'll go. look great. <laughs> 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 George, we're talking tuna fish today, man, on the show. I know you've seen a bunch of them bad boys in your day. Yes, yes, love the tunas. I what? mean. uh... We 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 have a really good fishery here. Yeah, we we really do for tuna, and I've watched it go from people you know trolling around catching uh, those small little football tunas mm -hmm. and keeping them to to learning how to use live bait and catch the bigger fish and leave those smaller fish alone, you know, and let 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 those guys just be because. You can go out there and fish live ballyhoos or pilchards on the edge of the reef in 150, 200 feet of water, and you can catch a 20-pound blackfin tuna. Nice. And you know as well as I do, you don't need a bunch of those. Right. You, know, you need, no. need need one or two of those, and you're pretty much set. Yeah. So, um, and I, I think we, we talked about this before. We, we're catching world-class blackfin tunas down here, and now guys are catching yellowfin tunas doing the same thing so now i mean you don't have to run to the bahamas you don't have to go to uh mexico or anything like that right to go catch these big tunas you, you can catch them here and i think uh we we had some big tunas caught here recently like 150 pound yellowfin what wow man nice yeah oh yeah oh. i know i know jim Jimmy Jimmy David on the L and H had a hundred and something pounder uh maybe a week ago or something. Sweet. That boy's always catching you know, fish so, though, man. He's he's got skills for sure, yeah. 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 Uh yeah, I'd yeah. say so. Yeah. <laughs> Slightly. But yeah, Slightly. tuna tuna fishing is uh tuna fishing has gotten I think better over the years. I mean, we're catching fish in the thirty pound range. Yeah. And uh I just don't re remember that a lot of that as a kid, you know, I mean, you had to go, you had to go run down to the marathon hump and you had to run to these 
far off places to go do that. Now we're doing it right out here. When you're trying to catch sailfish, you can be catching those tunas as well. And guys are catching them off the kites. You're catching them just, you know, live, live chumming with pilchards. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's a good fishery. I'm excited that we don't have to go far to go do that. And you're still in the game with the Mahis and you're in, and you're in the zone with the Wahoos and sure. the Kings yep. and all that. So it's all, all being done in pretty much a, the same area out there. So nice. And you know, I would say too, I, the past year, the tuna fishing it's in been general has been the best we've seen in man. years, yeah, right? We, about it, like, we always talk we're about that. You're crazy. Yeah, thick, man. Yeah. Great definitely. Stuff. Yep. Yep. So I mean, it's, I agree. It's great. Um, no, I agree. I I agree that it's it, it, you know, and everything is is uh, has has a, its own trend. Sure. Right. So I mean, it, it's cyclonic. Whatever you want to talk talk about, things always seem to come back around, and like things will dry up and not be great for a couple of years, and everybody's like, "Oh my gosh, what's going on?" And then the next year, it's like, "Oh my gosh, I've never been this good." Right, you know, and that's just that's fishing. That's just fishing in general. And there's there's a lot of fishing pressure, yeah. you know, in in certain cases. So, like for down here, for instance, you you want to go out there uh, at at eight a.m. and be on the uh, Isla Mirada Hump? No, mm-hmm. no, of course you don't, okay. because it's such a popular spot. There'll be thirty five, forty boats trying to fish it. Exactly. You know how good yep. you know how good fishing is gonna be when you put that many people yeah. trolling around in a little spot like that. I mean it's it's uh it's just because that's what people read about, that's what they know. You know, they hear it on the radio, they hear a guy talking about oh the the hump, yeah, we gotta go there. Yeah, we gotta go there, man. They're everywhere. They're all over the place. Right. You know, then and then and then and then there's, you know, thirty people trying to fish it and it's like, no, yeah. that's not gonna work. Yeah, yeah. So so I mean that in in uh fishing pressure just in general, there's just more and more people getting into the sport, doing it, trying to figure it out, and uh that doesn't necessarily um, real, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that more fish are being taken. It's just more people are involved. Yeah, and and uh, not everybody knows how to fish. Some guys, some guys and girls are trying to figure it out, and they really work hard at it. And the other ones are just like, hey, let's go follow that boat. You know? Right? <laughs> they look like they know what they're doing. Let's go <laughs> follow them. I got to admit, uh, though, I've actually done it before, Joe. I was just going to say, I I know a guy that does that. I have followed other guys' boats out, some charter boats, whatever else. I've I've done a little tag-along before. Is that ethical or rude to do? I I mean, come on, bro. There's plenty of ocean. You can't find your own fish. If I spot George's Uh, boat in the Keys, I'm following George Clark, okay? If I see L&H, I'm going to probably follow the If I had somebody follow me, I'd start throwing out ropes and stuff. You know what, man? Look, dude, if you ever fished, you might qualify to make that statement, okay? Look, at least I have okay. a freaking fishing rod, okay? You know what? Down, I'm, first of all, no, George, seriously. George, you hear these guys? I mean, they, 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 oh, don't boy. follow other people's boats around. That's freaking rude, man. <laughs> Why don't you two get a room? Why don't jo- George answer the question, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Hey George, oh I got a, I got a question for you. <laughs> let let George answer that hey, question. Hey, don't yell at me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go ahead. Is it okay if if somebody happens to tag along behind you? Hell no. Oh, George, got to give well, him space. Here, here here's the thing. If you're gonna get into the game where you're fishing for pelagics, yeah, please do yourself a favor, folks. Here's here's my tip of the week. Sure. Buy a really good set of binoculars. Right. And use them. Okay. Go find those birds. Go find those birds that that maybe the guy that that's running around over here to your left. Maybe he doesn't see him. And uh, and and figure figure out how to go find those birds. And and pay attention to what the birds are doing. They're going to tell you exactly what's going on. That answers the question. By watching them, he's basically saying, "No, don't tag behind my boat. Get your binoculars yeah. and find your own damn fish." Basically, well, and, and basically, but, but, right? Here's, but, yeah, no, here's the thing. Here's the thing. In a nice way. Here's yeah. the thing, and yeah. you'll and you'll appreciate this as much as um, probably everybody else. Right. There's nothing worse than working hard and finding a bird, one bird, yeah. and you know that he's on a pack of fish. Yeah. And you're you're heading heading over to it. You get over there, and the next thing you know, the guy that's tagging along pulls up and tries to troll those fish away from you. I mean. 
there's been there's been shootouts on the water yeah. over stuff like that. That would never happen you know, in Miami. Just, <laughs> no, 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 never, never, uh, never happened in South Florida. No, but, you know, happen. I mean, but that's my that's my tip is to get a good set of binoculars yep. and use them. Use them because okay. that's you're gonna you're gonna be able to get yourself on the fish and uh, stay away from people chasing you around the ocean. The tip of the all day. Right. All right. Uh, George, we're super late on the break here, my friend, but uh, thanks again for the phenomenal report as always. Watch the hey, Fish Guys on you. YouTube and Discovery and check that show out. Thank yeah. you, George. And uh, George, will I see you at the tournament? Yeah, call me later. Okay, I'll call you. All right. I love you. All right. All right, Norm Beckoff. He's on deck next. We'll see what he's doing. My Joey, man, Norm. The finest kind coming up here at Fox Sports 940. Good morning to you. Boom. Need to get out on the water? Look no further than Sailfish Boats. For nearly four decades, Sailfish Boats have been catching their limit along Florida's southeast coast, providing families and friends the perfect platform to create lasting memories. With head-turning styling, sail tech construction, and incredible on-the-water performance, Sailfish Boats are sure to meet your demanding needs and wants. Each boat features the legendary Deep V Variable Degree Steep Tall, intelligent ergonomics throughout, and a list of standard features for those seeking a boating experience at an undeniable value. Plus, deep gunnels, comfortable seating, Roomy heads, plenty of storage, plus an abundant number of cup holders only steps away from another make Sailfish Boats a must-see. Fishing-focused and family-friendly, Sailfish Boats are versatile. Enjoy hardcore fishing in the morning, afternoon activities with family or friends, or entertain with the Sunset Cruise, all with one boat. So, if you're in the market for a new boat, check out the new 2022 model lineup of Sailfish Center Console, Dual Console, and Walk Around Boats, including the all-new 316 Dual Console. Visit SailfishBoats.com for more information and to find a Sailfish dealer near you. South Florida fishermen know that this is blue water country, where big fish, big water, and big expectations sit right offshore. So we build blue water boats for the blue water fishermen, where yacht grade construction meets 21st century technology. And compromise? Well, we leave that for the other guys. You can customize your own blue water boat by visiting bluewatersportfishingboats.com and discover why boating is better on a blue water. Nothing beats the thrill of extreme kayak fishing with little standing between you and fighting a monster fish. And when it comes to kayak fishing, nothing beats a Hobie with its hands-free Mirage Drive propulsion system. Nautical Ventures is your exclusive Hobie dealer for Broward and Palm Beach. They have the widest selection of models and accessories to make your Hobie uniquely yours. They're rigged by our in-house experts who fish the tournaments. They know what it takes to win. Go to nauticalventures.com to learn more. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for Hobie. Need a place to store your boat? How about a wet slip with ocean access? One with hurricane protection and a full service yard? Nautical Ventures Marine Center in the heart of Fort Lauderdale has dockage starting at just $12 per foot per month. The lowest rate in Broward County. Our full service yard performs all boat works from bottom paint to engine repower to total refits. Coming soon, a new state-of-the-art 200-unit dry stack. Go to nauticalventures.com slash marina for more information. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for fun on the water. Pompano Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Pompano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. Gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're people's insurance underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's insurance underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters.
You're always up for some fun with the family. All right, some gentlemen, got a little bit of time here if you want to say good morning or hello or anything. Yeah, I've got several folks on the Facebook stream saying, why is Stephen J. Gray so out of control? Oh! Uh, yeah, they're just going off on you, man. Holy mackerel. No, no, I mean, but he said they're it. Why saying, would you, no, no, why would you want to follow close. somebody? They're going to think you're a terrorist or Al-Qaeda. They said you were very mean to me. And, and, and it hurt my feelings. That's very mean to you. And it hurt my feelings. Oh, and gosh. I'm feeling like oh, a, my. Oh. <laughs> I feel like an abused writer. So, like, let me ask a question to both you guys real quick. If you saw an elderly person shake hands with nobody, what would you think? Would you that, try to get them that help? That person needs to be off the stage and put into a, uh, a facility for it. Okay. The, no, it's uh, just a question, you the, know. Or like an only person, like being let off a helicopter, and not know where to go. <laughs> that handshake uh, to the Invisible Man was uh, just classic, bro. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> we're not naming names, okay? I, I just uh, no, somebody, we're no. just we're just somebody you know throwing well that out there. Someone we know. I would never say any names. Good morning, Joe. <laughs> I mean, we are we are. In, we're in trouble. And Eric? We're in trouble, man. We're oh, in trouble, Joe. Oh, my gosh. We're in deep. More than... We're in deep shit, man. Yeah. It's... How uh, many more years we got? Two? Of, of, li of life left? <laughs> wake up. Wake up, friend. Wake up. I want to wake up. I woke up this morning, baby. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up to the sound. You're waking up to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show with expert troller Eric Brandon. Here comes the king of hits. Plus extreme angler Joe Hector. This is more than we bargained for. Powered by Mercury Marine. And brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. To talk to fellow fishing fans, call 866-801-0940 or send us a message on the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. It's the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Yeah, it is. Uh, this week, it's been uh, tuna fish, man. We're loving those tuna, man. Black fins and occasionally yellow fin. I never caught a yellow fin yet, nor a blue fin, which I'll never catch ever. You might. I doubt that seriously. I'm hey, talking about catching tuna, yeah. I have a big ass picture of Joe and his yak with a massive tuna here. Tell us about this one, Joe. That is my biggest blackfin. I'm pretty sure to date. Uh, I got him years ago, but uh, I weighed that tuna at Tom Green's wow. from Custom Rod and Reel. Thirty eight pounds. Damn, dude, that's a big fish. Thirty eight. Pounds, baby. Hey, Stephen, he's using the uh, Eric Brandon trick of holding him straight out, man. On the kayak. <laughs> no, you can see my elbow Double bent. Double straight arms, Look, man. Look, my elbows are bent. That was a big tuna, guys. Uh, Captain right. Deb has a tuna yeah. pick as well. We're going to show in a little right. bit when she's can we, on. Can we give this man props? He's way down line number one. Please. On the, on the finest kind. Please. Like, while we're jabber jawing around. Damn, man. Norm Beckoff, my brother. Good morning to you. My man. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, good morning. Hello, Norm. Norm, I know you've caught a bunch of tuna fish in your time, man. You've probably got some really cool tactics. Talk about that fish, my brother. Oh, <laughs> I had a very disheartening day on Monday. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, we got we got uh we got halfway uh we got uh we set up on our we were kite fishing. We set up on our first drift, and about ten minutes into it, uh, yellowfin probably exceeding 100 pounds oh. uh, skyrocketed all over my short kite bait. Okay. And uh, we get the fish on. I hand the rod off. We clear the lines and we're tracking after the fish. Right. Which is actually being pretty docile right at the beginning. He took about half the line off the reel. Okay. And, uh, but he was straight up on top and tracking south. So we, you know, I was figuring we'd run up on him and try and stick him quick. Mm -hmm. And just about that time, the angler threw the reel into free spool. No, 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 no. I don't even want to know what you said, Norm. I can't even imagine what you said. I said nothing. Said. Did you scream? There's absolute, <laughs> no, I did not. There's, 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 really, there's literally nothing that you can do or say that's going to make the situation any better or worse yeah. in that scenario. The guy was from Kentucky. He knew he had the fish of a lifetime on. 
and he had nobody to blame except himself. Oh, dude. Obviously, you lost the fish storm, I'm assuming. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. of course. Damn it, man. Yeah. Well, I guess um, you had one. That's half the win. Man, I don't know. I'm bummed. Yeah. yeah. Can't imagine yeah. you. No, it was, there was really nothing that, that could have made that day any better, and it, it only got worse. We pulled the hook on a sailfish the next uh, the next drift, and oh the, we gosh. finally caught as a minor consolation to the to having lost both of those beautiful fish. We caught a thirty pound kingfish. Uh, it's, it's Steven, it was, you got you any funeral music you can throw in the back? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's so sad. Norm, what was that? What was that trip Jeez, back to man. the dock like? Was God. it quiet? Was I would it very think, quiet. I would think. It, it, you know, I mean, we had caught the thirty pound kingfish and finished the trip with that fish. I mean, it was minutes before lines out anyway, and so you know, we ended it on a high note, but still, there was that underlying disappointment yeah. and there was just nothing you could do about it. It was the fish of a lifetime. Right. And, you know, everybody knew it. Well, Norm, before you go this morning, man, we're always asking all of our captains this morning, what's your favorite tactic to catch tuna fish? You like to drift? You like to troll? You like to throw live bait? Chuck? And what's your way to do it, man? It really just depends on what's been working lately. I mean, if they're on the troll, you troll for them. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a weird thing here in Fort Lauderdale. Typically, uh, the, the tunas will be caught doing one thing or another. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, so if they're really on the move, you want to move with them. You want to move after them. So you, you want to be trolling. Right. Um, but if there's some much larger fish uh, coming through, they typically respond very well to live bait. And there's nothing better than a live bait. Right. All right. There you go. That's it, man. He says fit the conditions, man. After That's it. On a troll, troll. Yeah, live bait, and, live and bait. The thing, you know, whatever. And the thing you got to remember, guys, okay, is the the bite's been uh, quite a bit better in the afternoon, mm-hmm. and it, you know, and since we're coming up on the summertime, you know, it's getting darker later. Yep. So don't feel as though if you leave the dock, if you've got a bunch of baits penned up, and you know, or if you got some trollers ready to go, you get off at five o'clock in the afternoon. That is not too late to go. Right. If you, if you say if okay, you get a up, lot of these, yeah, a you lot get up of these at five o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> if you're getting up at five o'clock in the afternoon, what the hell are you the entire night before, man? Partying. If, if you're getting off, I'm, I'm if thinking, you're getting off work. Off, I think up. I think up off. Okay, got gotcha. you. Okay. No, no, no. You're so off. yeah, we get dark <laughs> later, which is great. I'm glad daylight savings time yeah. thing is doing what it's doing. But uh, yeah, and again, normally they have those big beautiful eyeballs, and they don't like that midday sun, do they at all, my brother? You know? No, not really. I mean, you might catch one or two during the day, but it's usually first thing in the morning or very late in the afternoon, like after 4.35. Yeah. All right, very cool, cool. sir. You fishing today? You staying on land, or what's the plan? Uh, no, I got, uh, I'm got. i booked all day. That's a, don't sound so depressed about it. I'm booked all day, man. <laughs> I got I to make some money, Eric. Yeah, yeah, I'm booked. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, normal. Hey, man, have a great day. Catch up for your clients. Sorry about that lost yellow fin. Uh, yeah. The guy who put the rule, the yeah. reel and free spool. I, I just can't even fathom how you got to that without oh, dropping man. a golf on a how local island somewhere. That, you know, like come on. <laughs> it I happens. couldn't even talk to the poor guy after twenty minutes afterwards. Yeah, oh. yeah. All right. You wait. know what it is too. That was a landable one too. Yeah. You know, like it wasn't it was, like it really overly. Was. Yeah. It was done. If a guy had left the thing, in, you know, in, in the, act, the reel in action, he would have had that fish in and, and had the fish of a lifetime. You know. Wait. That? That's your funeral music. That's the background funeral music in honor of the sailfish. Oh, it kind of sounds lost. like Here Comes the Bride, but it's funeral music, the same thing. <laughs> Dude, don't ever play that music in my presence. Oh, my God. Okay. Have a great day, Norm. We love you, brother. We love you, Norm. Oh, All right. <laughs> See you, that, that really is depressing music, Steve. That's yeah, let's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Duke that bitch. Thank you, you, Jay, uh, you asked for it, and I got it for you, man. Uh, All right, how about some happy news, man? Covering your boat with the right insurance, Joe. Huh? Yes. Need that, don't we? Let's Come do on, it. man. People's Insurance Underwriters, Jose and Jackie DeBasso, got a great company going on. Local folks who uh, have got it down to a science as far as the right coverage, how much is spent on your boat, how much you don't have to spend on a boat, whatever, yes. obviously. Correct. Even the right policy. Super great customer service, I might add. Yep. I've had many of my boating clients uh, convert over and over. They, Eric, they beat uh, XYZ Company. They beat this company. They beat that. They gave me a great policy, and I'm, I'm just mm-hmm. so happy with the fact they actually answered their phone. They replied immediately, yep. and again, if you log on to thehappyboating.com, as Joe showed you on one of the programs, yep. it's as simple as, shows you right there, get your quote, push the little icon. One, two, three, boop, boom. done. 
you log in your boat size, whatever else, yep. and they come back with a quote within like a, a, an hour, two hours, three hours, whatever else. So it's the same day. Yeah, not we had him on the last show, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah it was, it was a, great. He was great last yeah, weekend. It was live awesome. on the show. So get the right coverage, man. Uh, they're becoming just super popular because uh, they're great people. Uh, it's now Captain Jose de Basso, I might add. He practices with his beach. He dives. He fishes. He does it all. So the guy's into the sport. He'll cover your boat right, and you will be happy you contacted the People's Insurance Underwriters at thehappyboating.com. Awesome. Check out the forecast. We have Jen and Deb coming up next Ooh. at Fox Sports 940. Live. Oh. Starting Monday. Want to win 1000 bucks? Well, then we hope you... All right, all right. Oh, my goodness. I, I wouldn't believe how big that fish that you caught there, uh, Joe. It was a nice one, right? Oh, yeah, it was a big one there. Station promo right now. That's why I'm talking to you guys. Uh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, that... Uh, and that day I got five... It was five blackfin. That was the biggest one. And they, they were all like 25, 30 pounders. It was nuts. Was that wow. live, live bait? What were you doing? That? Yeah, just live... I had... Uh, well, I got two on the jig. Yeah. Like we were talking about, but I was speed jigging. Okay. And then I got uh, the rest on uh, live pilchard. Nice, Crazy man. day. Crazy day. Again, yeah, like, I just don't understand what it's like to catch a blackfin tuna in a kayak. I've not done that. Comes to kayak fishing, Nautical That's Ventures amazing. knows what That's you crazy. need to catch fish. They carry top brands from Hobie, Ocean, Wilderness, Old Town, Perception, Neki, and are experts in rigging your kayak. They'll customize your kayak with fishing amenities, lights, depth finders, and anything else that fits your personal fishing style. Nautical Ventures has the largest and latest selection of kayaks and accessories in stock. And you can try it before you buy it in their exclusive Aqua Zone. Go to Nautical Ventures dot com for more details nautical ventures the go-to people for kayak fishing you love your boat you love the water but you'll love them both even more with a new mercury v8 four-stroke outboard on the transom the four strokes 4.6 liter v8 powerhead delivers exhilarating acceleration and top speed with uncompromising durability and reliability while its advanced midsection and under cowl noise management create the smoothest quietest ride on the water the 250 and 300 horsepower four strokes are famous for superior hole shot and fuel efficiency see your mercury dealer today for the exciting 250 and 300 horsepower four-stroke outboards Pompano Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Pompano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. I'm George Poveromo, and I've made washing and detailing my boat an art. All avoid dish soap, which quickly strips away protective wax coating and even begins eating into the gel coat. For me, it's Starbright Boat Washes exclusively. They're specifically formulated to keep boat surfaces impeccably clean and protected without stripping wax finishes. Available in pine, citrus, and blueberry scents. Go to Starbright.com to find a retailer near you. Starbright. Clean and protect. This boating season, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission wants to remind you to wear your life jacket. You make a difference in the life of your family. As a parent, it's your job to keep your kids safe and be there for them. You do it at home, at school, and you need to do it on the water as well. Always wear your life jacket and have your children wear theirs too. It's a basic step that saves lives. Life jackets save lives. Wear it, Florida. Visit MyFWC.com for more information. That's MyFWC.com. Catch more fish with Fishbrine, the world's most popular fishing app. Fishbrine provides the tools you need to fish better, helping you to make bigger and better catches. With over 14 million anglers from around the world, no other fishing app contains as much detailed data as Fishbrine. Find catches, make connections, learn different fishing techniques. Everywhere from your local pond to the middle of the ocean, it's the only fishing app with maps for every body of water, with specific layers for catches, waypoints and depth contours. So start catching more fish with Fishbrine. Join for free at fishbrine.com. Heard you're buying a car. Uh, what are you What are you uh, promoting there, Jerky? I already used Capital One Auto Navigator. I see you promoting that Jerky, Jerky. I tell you, I'm tempted to open this bag, but I don't know, man. I'm. I, I... Well, 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 you're showing it. You might as well open it and tell us it's good jerky. or not. Try it, man. Teriyaki ginger mushroom jerky. I'm teriyaki. Like, I, I like I'm, teriyaki. I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'm not eating my. No, I'm not. Come on, man. Well, did you buy it? I bought it to give to Joe because he's the mushroom promoter. Oh, obviously. but his sorry ass won't even eat them. So why? Oh, I then bother? you need to try it then. 
How about you try it, pal? No, no, you the jerk. No, you jerk. like the juice, dude. You so are the jerk. Out here. You try it. No, you, you like the juice. Come out here. I need them. to be able to survive doing the show. Okay? You come out here and eat some of this damn jerky, okay? I can't be ralphing guy. in this control room, okay? <laughs> I can't even fathom the after effects, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Hi guys, what are we talking about? Talking about, about that this, mushroom jerky this nasty there. Ass mushroom Said he jerky bought it for you here. and you won't try it, and I told him to try it. It's a fairly moderate concoction. Joe and I can continue with the show when you puke from and die from that thing. <laughs> I just it's so I'm good. Not, I'm not eating it, okay? Dick Why? Dick. I don't want to touch that crap. Why? I, bought it, I bought it for you, man. Why are you so scared of mushrooms? I bought cupcakes for Mia, what and happened I bought to you? mushroom for you. What happened? Do you have an experience that you're not telling us? Yeah, I was force fed mushrooms as a child. I knew it. Yeah, I knew it. That tortured me. Ex girlfriend. Actually, I took them happily. <laughs> Actually, I took them happily in high school. Okay, oh, I was, okay. was loving mushrooms back then. All right, yeah, not cool. those guys. Nice. Anyway, so uh, you all ready for your tournament next Saturday? Pretty much. You're, I mean, you're, it's close, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, you're here, you know, man. losing that Instagram cat was a big oh, loss for us. But um, who's coming in for him next Saturday? Oh, are you going to do a Skype with us? Uh, to Joe, Joe, Joe Jason. Okay, are you going to Skype with us, Joe? Yeah, you whatever is. you guys want to do. Yeah, yeah, we can do it. He's skyping in, man. Yeah. Um, well, I love those live shots. First thing you're launching. No, those for. are great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll do, we'll do the same thing. Yeah, Bust we'll just set in. that up uh, when we get closer. And yeah, I'm ready. Uh, just a lot going on. So it's. Uh, are you rebuilding your Instagram account now? From not yet. <laughs> That's gonna take so long. Oh man. You know what? You know what's hard about that is well, that that account. I've been building for like a little over eight years. Oh my God. It's hard to sleep on Friday night thinking about fishing on Saturday. It's the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Powered by Mercury Marine and brought to you by Papano Ford and Papano Lincoln. An easy way to car. To talk fishing, call Eric Brandon and Joe Hector at 866-801-0940. Listen on the radio or watch us on the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. The Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Yeah, we're back. It's a beautiful Saturday morning, Joe. Look at this weather, man. Not a cloud Gotta keep us separated. Ow. Nice timing, man. Good job. No, 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 no. My blood's pumping out, man. His name is Eric. He does the show. Hey. <laughs> Do that with Jennifer Grey Warren. She's coming up on the program right now. Jenny, Jenny, Jen. Jen. Jen, Jen, Jenny, Jenny, Jen. Her name is Jenny. She does the knock weather it on. Knock her. it off, Jen. <laughs> Good morning. Uh oh, she didn't Jennifer hear me, did she? Grey Warren, our favorite lady of all time for weather and fishing. Hi, Jen. Hi, Jen. Good morning. Sounds like somebody's gotten into the Easter candy a little early. <laughs> Great. She's got the greatest comebacks oh, of all time, man. Great. She is so on point, Jen. So, it's a good-looking day. Are we looking for something later to change, or what the hell's going on with this weather of ours? No, I think you're you're, at, you're finally, shockingly, getting a good weekend. Uh, you have a 20% chance of rain this morning, the clearing. Mostly sunny with a high near 80. East Southeast winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Intercoastal waters and moderate chops. Tomorrow, Easter Sunday, mostly sunny, high near 81. East southeast winds 10 to 15 knots, seas around two feet. Intercoastal waters and moderate chop. Today in the Keys, 20% chance of shower, sunny with a high near 86. Nice. East southeast winds 10 to 15, seas two to three feet. Near shore waters, a light to moderate chop. And tomorrow, slight chance of showers, mostly sunny with a high near 85. East winds 10 to 15, seas around two feet. Near shore waters, a light to moderate chop. In a Florida Bay today, east-southeast winds 10 to 15 knots. Bay waters, a light to moderate chop, isolated showers. Nice. And, to, and then tomorrow, east winds 10 to 15, bay waters, a light to moderate chop with isolated showers. Beautiful. Looking good. Nice. Now, do Coop and Caden uh, know the Easter Bunny's coming tomorrow? They do know the Easter Bunny is coming tomorrow, yes. Uh, they're into the Easter Bunny. have the baskets and the candies and all those good things, right? They are becoming professional Easter egg hunters between <laughs> the school, the church, the friends, the neighbors. We have been on about half uh, a dozen Easter egg hunts so far. <laughs> you and you and the, you and the hubby are such great parents, and to have a happy Easter, That's Jen. Funny. Thanks so much for a great forecast. We love you to death. Thanks, Thanks so Jen. much. All right. Thanks. You're have the a best. good weekend. So the keys talk to Captain Deb Deo. Hey, in Margaritaville. Oh, I wish she's on the water. Wish she's always on the water. Normally these weekend shows, isn't of she? Of course, right. Yeah. Deb, what's up? Good morning to you, baby. 
Yeehaw, boys. How's it going? That happy voice. First thing in the morning. Yeehaw, boys. How's Hi, it going? Captain Deb. It's been a fun show talking tuna fish there, Captain Deb. Yes, tuna fish. Don't you love them? Uh, By the way, we have a pic of her holding one. Uh, she just sent me this morning there. Tell us about that Ooh. tuna pic, Deb. Yeah. Yeah, I like to catch blackfin tuna on the troll. I mean, I enjoy doing that. Um, you know, I start at the edge of the there reef, and then I'll troll out troll out till I find, you know, birds or or we'll find the fish on the troll. Um, I like, um, I really, really like catching them on the troll, you know, about 400 feet back, um, you know, when, when it's a little bit weedy as well. So, mm-hmm. I mean, the farther back you go. Also, I'll, um, if I come up on birds or something, you know, I'll put the kites up and drift over them with the kite baits. That doesn't scare them as much. So, yeah, tuna fishing down here is world class. Um, there have been some yellow fins caught, um, like George was talking about. A couple of the people down in Isla Mirada caught a few. Uh, yesterday, um, Tackle Center out of um, Postcard Inn in Isla Mirada landed a 36-pound black fin on live bait. Sweet. So, nice. definitely, nice. definitely here. So. Yeah, tuna fishing is fun, that's for sure. <laughs> now, of all the fish you catch, Deb, I mean, between mahi, mahi uh, let's say tuna fish, and wahoo, whatever else, sailfish, is that one of your favorite fish to, to bring up? Yeah, I, I like catching tuna, but, of course, my favorite, you know, is is mahi and wahoo. There you um, go. But, yeah, we yeah. catch yeah. tuna. Yeah. Nice. Your name are like, two I fish, like too. Yeah. Cleaning. When you're cleaning fish on the fish cleaning table and you get to, you know, let let the customers taste the sushi, that that's always an experience. That's so, great. you know, you're out you're out cleaning fish and, and they get to eat it straight off the boat. Yeah. I've been up there many times uh, catching tuna fish with our captains and we'll have a glad bag there. They'll bring some soy sauce and we'll actually take a, a black fan and just go ahead and dice them up yeah. and throw them in a the bag, shake them a little bit. And we got some sushi right there, man. Sashimi. Yeah. It's ugh. doing it. Awesome. Which is great. It's such a good time of year. Great time of year. Um, one of our main things, Deb, is keeping the progress on your brand new boat. Uh, I saw some photos this week. I think the, the girl's name is painted on, on the transom now. You got her on the stern back there with the beautiful lettering and stuff. It looks great. Uh, oh, my gosh, guys. I'm so excited. Yes, the name went on this week, Blue Water Girl. And um, I'm just, we are launching on Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm not really for sure. I'm still waiting on a part for the shaft. Um, the coupling pad part, so still waiting to get that done. And as soon as that gets done, we're launching Tuesday or Wednesday. Going to go to the long dock um, probably till Friday, and then moving her over to Key Largo. So hopefully, by the time I talk to you next week, this time I'll be in my tower on my bridge. Oh, that uh, is your report. <laughs> so exciting, Joe! She's going to launch this puppy yeah, finally, huh? That'd be awesome. What? I can't right. wait to follow all the adventures and all that. I, I was thinking, yeah, might... and then I'll probably end up going live on Facebook when we launch for sure. Sweet. Well, you know the three knuckleheads here want to be on your boat. I mean, we got to be on there and fish. I mean, Mo, Larry, and Shep over there. Oh yeah, yeah. It's... Curly. The three stooges. <laughs> I love it. Come on down. <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's go get some tuna. Uh, let's do it. I saw Stephen put a shot of your boat up on the, on the screen here on the drop down, so that's very cool. Uh, fishing today, Deb, staying on land. Uh, skiff fishing, what are you doing? I'm going down to um, get on the boat for a little bit. Um, I'm going to go to visit her in the boat yard and, and, you know, just do a couple little things. And uh, I just I can't wait just to – I just want to be with her all the time right now. I don't blame you. Hey, Deb, thanks so much again, as always, for a great report. You're the bomb diggity. We love you to show. You were one of the greatest, have a great greatest promoters Absolutely. of the show, so thank you. Like Deb like Deb Dale does, all of our captains listening, hey, guys, share the show like Deb Dale does. Share if you can. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, Deb. All right. Hey, Joe, I want to talk about something that uh, they're on the show, and I really want to explain this to me a little bit more. Sure. About fish brain. Yes. Talk about my fish brain and what the heck this this app and what this thing does, man. I'm I'm intrigued by it. Yeah, so fish brain is is a fishing app. Um, they're really growing quick, and I've known uh, Austin for years, and I've gotten involved, and I have my own fish brain account. I have mine too. Um, yeah, by the way, I I I wish I could pull it up here. It'd be hard to see here, but. Basically, in a nutshell, because we're going to do a, a really detailed rundown, I think, in Soon, the near yeah. future, but right? Give me okay. the overview. But yeah. basically, so it's kind of like a picture like a Facebook yeah. or a Instagram page. It's kind of a mix of that, right. except the beauty of it is you can go on here and you could log your catches 
and you could show anglers where you're catching your fish right. and vice versa. Okay. Uh, you could make it private. You can make it public. You could do all that. Uh, you could do posts. Uh, there's so many options, and it's got all these different fish species that you can click on, and it'll show where they Those are. Photos, and, man. Those yeah, photos, no, it's yeah. it's really yeah. great. And then it's also uh, gave. So I have a I have a personal, but I can also go on to my uh, extreme kayak fishing one, which I'm going to pull up here. Okay. So I also have the tournament page, mm -hmm. and and it shows all your guys catching fish. Yeah, it's got fish, the hashtags and all that. Extreme kayak fishing on there, so yeah. they can actually name their own page, right? Yeah, and they can create a page just like this, just like you would a like business page on like Facebook, for instance. Yeah, exactly. And, and you go on there, and listen, I mean. Uh, we've already grown our uh, page here to over 7,000 uh, followers on here. So and, and it is a big part of our promotions right now. I downloaded the app uh, this week and had a chance at work between some boat sales to actually play with it a little bit. Yeah. It's very user-friendly. by Very. Now, and it really extremely informative. I mean, really learn some stuff on there. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. you There's got a logbook here. Very you cool. can go into your logbook and yeah. you could put all your different catches here. Uh, they also have a shop here. You can just pick out stuff there. And then you got maps. You Very can go cool. in and you got your maps. And so if you guys want to find the fish we're talking about today, tuna fish, yeah. check out the Fish Brain app. And I'm sure you'll probably find some hot spots where guys are catching tuna fish up there, yeah. right? And you Bingo. just you hit in community right here, and then it's got all your different <laughs> fans and all that. Outstanding. So. Very user-friendly. Very you, easy to use. Just go to Fish Brain and check them out and download the app, and you'll be ready to rock. Way They're to also go. a big part of the uh, Exotic Bass Roundup. Outstanding. So people, uh, the winners will get a surprise from Fish Brain for this tournament. Well, I'm so, kind of glad I bought them It's going to be great. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. All right, next is the big toy chest. We'll see what's inside that bad boy coming up here. Let's do it. Sports 940, baby. Five. Need to get out on the water? Look no further than Sailfish Boats. For nearly four decades, Sailfish Boats have been catching their limit along Florida's southeast coast, providing families and friends the perfect platform to create lasting memories. With head-turning styling, sail tech construction, and incredible on-the-water performance, Sailfish Boats are sure to meet your demanding needs and wants. Each boat features the legendary Deep V Variable Degree Steep Tall, intelligent ergonomics throughout, and a list of standard features for those seeking a boating experience at an undeniable value. Plus, deep gunnels, comfortable seating, roomy heads, plenty of storage, plus an abundant number of cup holders only steps away from another make Sailfish Boats a must-see. Fishing-focused and family-friendly, Sailfish Boats are versatile. Enjoy hardcore fishing in the morning, afternoon activities with family or friends, or entertain with the Sunset Cruise, all with one boat. So, if you're in the market for a new boat, check out the new 2022 model lineup of Sailfish Center Console, Dual Console, and Walk Around Boats, including the all-new 316 Dual Console. Visit SailfishBoats.com for more information and to find a Sailfish dealer near you. Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're people's insurance underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid, or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, relationships, liability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's Insurance Underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. Nothing beats the thrill of extreme kayak fishing with little standing between you and fighting a monster fish. And when it comes to kayak fishing, nothing beats a Hobie with its hands-free Mirage Drive propulsion system. Nautical Ventures is your exclusive Hobie dealer for Broward and Palm Beach. They have the widest selection of models and accessories to make your Hobie uniquely yours. They're rigged by our in-house experts who fish the tournaments. They know what it takes to win. Go to nauticalventures.com to learn more. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for Hobie. You have two missions in life. Go fast and catch fish. The 3.0 liter, 150 horsepower Mercury Pro XS will take care of going fast so you can take care of catching fish. On freshwater or salt, 150 Pro XS is tuned to power mid-sized boats to the limit. Pull shot and top speed are incredible thanks to the lowest weight, highest displacement in the category and transient spark technology that optimizes spark timing. Talk with your Mercury dealer today about the Mercury 150 horsepower Pro XS. Hear that? That's the sound of confidence. The sound of confidence brought to you by Nationwide Battery. For over 30 years, boaters and fishermen have counted on Nationwide to fire up their engines, to keep their electronics going, week after week, year after year. They have the largest selection of batteries at the best prices. With dockside installation available, if you count on your boat, then count on Nationwide Battery. Visit them at nationwide-battery.com. Nationwide Batteries. 
the sound of confidence. Papano Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Papano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. Feel like when you're All right, you got a little bit of time here. Uh, if you want to say good morning to anybody or... Good morning good to everybody, man. That's right. We love them all. So this, uh, I'm seeing the next the, the next Nautical Ventures toy chest item here. And this is going to be a first because it's not actually a toy, but it's something that protects your toy. Correct? Correct. correct. That's correct. It's sure, cool, yeah. But it's, it's a must-have for anyone who has toys. Putting in my stamp ticket in for the 420 outrage being raffled, says uh, Juan Miglio. Kathleen Koenig, our great sales rep, says, I'm actually watching live. Good morning. Oh. Hey, Kathleen, hope we don't disappoint you with the uh, live feed here. We're dancing around. Uh, good Lord, give me the damn bag. I'll eat it. LOL. <laughs> He's talking about the bag of mushroom stuff. <laughs> That nobody has the nuts to try, okay? Mm -mm. I might add, okay? Yeah. Not this early. Oof. Well, trying your shroom juice this early was no better, Dude, it was pal. great. You're the only one that doesn't like that. You Dude, know that? I had a sip of it. I couldn't talk for the rest of the show. <laughs> I was... <laughs> so it worked. <laughs> it, gave you, it gave you the energy. It Definitely. You were no, like... No, 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 it gave me a freaking brain tumor, man. I couldn't get out the <laughs> rest what? of the what? show. A please. A uh, please. Stephen, how good was that drink? It was good. It See? was smooth. It was smooth. It was nasty-ass garbage. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Watch that poop. Here, Penny. She's got it on her face. She's got a little... Can you get that off her face, she... Eric? Yeah, let me see. No, there, I'm not. I'm not there I'm you not, go. I'm not going to touch her face. She will not be happy with that. She's a girl. And doesn't, you don't what? touch girl's she faces. Loves, she's so loving. You Just do it. Oh. What <gasps> the... I think about that, pal. <laughs> What was that? That's called end the show. Just let it all hang out, baby. Yeah, okay? You're catching all the fish because you're tuned into the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show, powered by Mercury Marine. Don't catch all the fish. Drink all the beer. Hang it down. Stay here. With your hosts, two Here's legendary two. fishermen, Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Oh, I certainly admire people who do things. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln, an easy way to car. You're just the guy I want to see. Glad you're here. Drop the guys a line at 866-801-0940. One ringy dingy. And now, while you drink all the fish and catch all the beer. Come on, pull yourself together. It's back to Eric Brandon and Joe Hector on the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. It is time for the Nautical Ventures Toy Chest. Frozen. <laughs> Would you stop looking at me, man? He's got the frozen face on because I want to. Yeah, because my... you're acting very strange. No, I just want to get my, strange, get my Gary. hair a chance to breathe. Very strange, strange Gary. I get, get the schmeg out of my hair. The hair spray is gone. I'm feeling good about wow. it, man. Open that toy chest, my brother, will you please? Uh, one toy chest opening now. Thank you, sir. There it comes. Joe, stop it, face man. <laughs> Today's toy chest, something very cool, man, called Gulfstream Docks. Joe, proudly made the U.S. of A. They are the toughest and most stable modular floating docks in the industry. You'll see the video of a guy actually driving his boat up on that dock, and it pulls on up. You're done. You put it in reverse. It slides right on off. You put your jet skis on there, your kayaks on there. Again, they're great for homeowners. Uh, you're great for uh, marinas, oh, look uh, at that. boaters, commercial operators. It's a floating platform uh, that's really made no other than my Gulfstream docks. They're the toughest and most stable floating dock in the industry. Nice. And of course, you can find those at Nautical Ventures, I might add. So check them out, man. The Gulfstream docks is our toy chest of the day. Protect your boat, pull it up, and be happy. 
Wrap-up time, Joe. you got uh, about a minute and a half talking about the tournament next Saturday. Wow. Yeah. Go, so man. first we got the kickoff party taking place April 21st, and that's going to be at Duffy's in Delray Beach Plaza. Right. Uh, and, man, we are excited. We got a killer, huge raffle coming up for that tournament. We're giving away uh, the main prize from Nautical Ventures is a fully rigged, decked out, yeah. bona fide kayak. Uh, I don't know if you've seen that puppy, but it is a fishing machine. It's got the mounted rod holders, everything uh, that comes with it, and it is a sick kayak. So, And we're putting some awesome like decals and stickers on there that have to do with the tournament uh, as well. So anyway, that's the main prize we're giving away for our raffle. Okay. We're also going to have uh, like Yeti coolers, uh, combo rod and reels, a whole bunch of fun stuff for you guys. Uh, and you guys, uh, for the kickoff party, just so you guys know, you can order live bait there, Shiners. Okay. Uh, from Aces Bait and Tackle. Cool. They'll be there on hand. Outstanding. And uh, you get your goodie bags. You get your SA Company free uh, hat, your straw hat with Extreme Kai Fishing logo. Right. And your face shield comes in the bag with a peacock skin. Very nice stuff. Uh, tournament day mm -hmm. is going to be April 23rd. And that's a Saturday at Lake Ida Park West. Uh, the tournament is open to the public. So if you guys want to come out and check out this tournament, it's going to be a good time. We're going to have a good crowd there at the end for the yep. weigh-in ceremony. Yep. Yep. And uh, it is a catch and release, but we're also going to have like a Bassmaster Classic. Guys will hold up their fish for photos and all that. It'll be a fun show. We're going to have music, live entertainment, so definitely come on out. And uh, that's going to be from 8.30 in the morning until like 3.30 in the afternoon. So come on out. All and right. um, first place prize from Nautical Ventures, 2500 bucks. See you guys there. Big money. Thank you, Joe, for yep. a great show. Man. Go to ExtremeKayakFishing.com, guys. Uh, next week, uh, Joe Johnson fills in with you. For sure, yes. Because you're out here in the tournament. Yep. But I'll be the live we'll, feed. We'll Skype in, whatever yep. else. Okay, we'll so Skype in from the tournament. Stephen did great. Thank you, man. Crazy guy for the show. As always, man, you do a phenomenal thank job. Thank you, man. Eric, back in the studio at 940. Thank you. Joe Hector, my brother. Thank hey, you, brother. Man. Awesome show. Have a great tournament next Saturday. Thank you, buddy. You guys keep it here all weekend long, baby. Sports Place, man. Fox Sports, 940. Bye. <laughs>